Sounds good, right? It and looks good. It it looks like it looks like professional studio of a YouTuber guy. If it wasn't so small. Small That's what she I said. don't know. Yeah, it's like it's not Mr. Beast warehouse, but who gives a shit? I agree too. And we are live. Actually. Oh, we are live? <laughs> we are fucking live. I have to I have to <laughs> so I have to write my wife. We are live. <laughs> really? Yeah, we'll start a little earlier. I I I told her like no, it's uh, gonna be recorded and then he will upload it on the on the No, no, it's interwebs. live. It's live. It's live. It's live. Zme na živo. Actually, I'm gonna write a story to me. Was receiving. Well, My wife and me we are fucking perfect couple so she will see this in like three hours <laughs> and then she will ask me like uh, still Why didn't you tell still me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly All right dude yeah help me with this story Actually can you make it for me Yes of course Uh oh shit fuck <laughs> This card Hello we are live so people uh, can see Why I'm talk I'm I'm talking to you on the other thing and people are watching it on the other thing. So this is kind of like inception really video like thing. See? Look at yourself. See? This is you. But somewhere else on the interwebs. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put the link. Oh man. I'm <sighs> really scared because uh, the uh, I am really shit in English as you can see. I Oh, and here I, my, my English is Your really English good. Is absolutely fine. I, I I sometimes I have this uh, really racist Eastern European accent like hello <laughs> hello <laughs> like you're not trying to sound Russian but the 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 soul of you just What? speaks fucking Russian English. What can a brother do if you do no? Yeah, uh, yeah. Can't do anything about it. So I'm posting the story. Yes, of course you have to. It's a story. So there we you go. You have to post the story. Oh, and I almost forgot to tag you. Yeah, she, she. It's okay. I, 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 I'm not. I'm, I'm okay with not tagging. Oh, but then you can't reshare, so the people know. Yeah, of course. Uh, did you tell your people that we are live? Uh, no, I didn't uh, tell my wife. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows. No one fucking knows. No one knows. <laughs> so tell her. Was it my wife. Tell her. <laughs> oh, send my wife a link, please. Okay. Send my wife a link through the Instagram. Okay. How many people are watching this fucking two old men? Uh, not geeking, enough. Not enough. Geeking about yeah. like internet. Uh, share my story and she will see it. Uh, okay. Uh, Is it normal can that you do I that? Yeah. Is it normal that I can't feel my feet? I don't know. Why you cannot feel? I it? have no idea. Strange. Uh uh splish splish <laughs> sir. Splish splish please. Yeah, of course. Uh, I have to no, talk. People are watching. Come on, it's your show. You yeah. cannot do that. You can. There <laughs> cannot be silence. Oh, there's plenty of silence here. There cannot be silence. On, uh, I don't do, know. do you want me to spill this? Uh, sp uh, spill the beans. I almost spilled it. There you go. I cannot get a link. Oh, I, now I get a link. So uh, we're just having a Coca-Cola. That's all we're drinking. Nothing else. Nothing more than Coca-Cola. Only Coca-Cola because yeah. I am a non-drinker. You are a responsible person. I Somebody told me that uh, you're a skater so you're straight edge. That's some kind of bullshit. Really? Are skaters skaters are straight edge? I don't know, that's the rumor I heard. No way. That's not true at all. I was never straight edge <laughs> and I was a skater like all my all my life. Is there such a thing as straight edge in skateboarding? Yes, there there is, but there's like a, it's a it's a Uh, straight edge in everything mm. uh, but it cannot be like just only the skaters that's uh, stupid uh, uh, yeah I was a skater but uh, you have to understand I was a skater in the uh, Slovak Republic uh, in the, like 90s so imagine how skating was shitty in the 90s in the USA here it was like fucking 3000 AD it was oh I, I don't know But when did you get your first skateboard and how much was it? Uh I think so I was like 11 or 12. Yeah, I I went to karate school mm -hmm. and I did karate for eight, eight years and then I started skating and uh like kind of forget about the karate thing because uh I like the individuality of it and like the no no trainer and no mm. no 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 not no. having to listen to that dude yeah, yeah of course and, and fucking uh, drag yeah but 
like now uh, I can see the benefits of of uh, of having karate for example as a kid for multiple years so you you kind of have to grind have you, you ever have been in a fight uh like i have glasses so most of my fights like do 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 you have a problem take off your glasses and i'm taking off my glasses boom. and boom 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 yeah, yeah I'm, i'm fucking suddenly i am on the ground link <laughs> fucking getting stamped on so i don't know but i can handle myself like now now this is yeah this is the sentence i, I i'm gonna use like i can handle myself mm-hmm. and i was in a few fights uh even i uh, even like the fight ended and they took us to the police station so uh we can like i, I was suing the attacker And did uh, you, did ne- you never actually get anything out of him or just no never get no, it was it was blind uh, Ellie oh, from yeah. the start yeah <laughs> I can't even imagine you Slovak w- police is like it's like for them it's like paperwork can I okay, tell you who attacked who yeah. okay can you say he okay okay so are you going to the doctor no okay so fuck you all off you go that, that was that was it I have a story from when I was going clubbing in Bratislava Ooh, uh, what's the place? I, I used to. Uh, Rock Oak. Oh, <laughs> God damn, yeah, I man. Know. I know, don't judge me. I was uh, young. <laughs> I'm going to judge you. I'm going to judge you because Rock Oak is low. Uh, it, it, It's it, low. Well, they closed Alligator. I don't know if you remember oh, well, Alligator. Oh, what the fucking <laughs> fuck? Alligator? <laughs> Grexa has it. It's a Grexa thing. It used to be so cool. But listen, I went there and I had a hoodie. And I put it down because... Brother not gonna dance with a hoodie on, right? It's hot and everything. You know? And then end of the thing and I take my hoodie and some guy comes and th- that's my hoodie. So there's a huge discussion and he claims it's his. I'm like, it's mine. And I wasn't gonna leave it because it was a hoodie that I paid I don't know how much for. The police comes and they take cool. us they take us to the station to try to solve this, right? The other guy leaves. I'm the only one there with the police. I'm like, obviously it's my hoodie, no. We need you to prove it. Do you have the receipt? Which is logical. It's logical. You cannot... Yeah, I like, carry it around here, sir. Yes, of course. <laughs> I have receipt of everything I bought for the last 10 years. So, like, what do you want? I didn't have a hoodie after that. They took it, those bastards. <laughs> <laughs> And you know what, is, what, what, is, what the thing is? It, it never gets to the, to the guy... It always stayed uh, locked up in some basement in the police station as the fucking hoodie from the morning. The guy left. <laughs> yeah. He fucked off immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I was the only one retarded like that stood there. Yes, yes, Mr. Policeman. <laughs> what do I need to do? And you know what? I didn't have the receipt, so they asked me for my debit card to check the transactions. I'm like... <laughs> That's clever. That's clever even for Slovak police. That's like... It's really good. But imagine that they would th- the, the amount of time spent looking at the <laughs> at the transactions. Just why? Uh because maybe it's uh, I don't know to 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 get really like dark, but maybe it's f- because the Slovak police is um, like a little bit racist from the start. So you have to always like count in the possibility that like this guy has some Gypsy neighbors, uh, or he has seen some for, uh, Romanian people. You know, mm-hmm. you know how it is. Like in, yeah, in Slovakia, in Slovakia, like the police is. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna say this. Can, can I say this? How many you people? Can, you how can many say people? Twenty people. Twenty people. Okay, so fucking brace up, people. Okay, this is a joke. I, I'm a comedian. In Slovakia, is police so bad? Is like they're even uh, they're. Even beating up the the white people, so you know it's it's <laughs> a, it's it's just a thought because it's true, it's true. In Slovakia, one policeman got fucking angry and beat up a white fucking girl and her mom in the Petrozelka. When S- was this? So a few years ago. Tiefenbach was his name. He he's out of the force now. I can imagine they would keep him there, right? On a freaking for a good morale. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, we kind of forgot. We started and we we kind of forgot about the introduction, right? So yes, we have to do the introduction. You have to do it. It's your podcast. Yeah. You are boss of this fucking area here. And my question is, how much do you know about something po Anglitsky? This podcast. Mm. 
<laughs> it's a, nothing. You, so you, you, you catch me off guard, man. You catch me off guard. <laughs> Not a problem. But listen, Dushka was here. Uh, Doki was here. Uh, Roman Woody was here, yeah. and Petus Naskle was here. So this is how much I know. And I think that's all you need to know. For now, I'm sorry for the for the other guys and, and and ladies and stuff. I I saw you are a busy bee. I am because uh, last time uh, uh, I was checking you, uh, checking you out because mm-hmm. stalking is not a good word. Yeah, I was checking you out. Uh, your last podcast was Dushan. Yeah, and we set up a date, and uh, suddenly, like few hours ago, I was checking you again, and you had like twenty of them out including Adela Vincenzova Adelka 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 Blatu she will oh bude bude oh, okay Adela is super Adela is very me taka detska dushička oh sorry did, did Adela you... is very very <laughs> Adela is very uh, nice person did she's you, like a child did you have her in your podcast yet yeah and how was it she's like a child which is very nice because uh, i am like a child my uh, other podcast host is also like a child We are all these little childish stupid beings. I don't think which is so. which is really nice if you like a- acknowledge it. It's really nice. You you feel uh empowered and you feel free because you, you have the can most fun. be silly. You can be silly. There is no shame in being fucking just silly. I mm. I go to summer camp in the summers uh, with kids. Yeah. So I always have to be the fool. Yes, of course. And yeah. Adela as well. Adela and uh, Victor uh they're going also every summer to mm. this child baby camp. I don't know, not baby camp, kids camp. I had no idea. This is the first time I heard about it. Really? Yeah, I didn't yeah. know. They're doing like animators there. Like n- normal or not celebrity shit, mm-hmm. nothing like ordinary people. Just and playing with these kids. You all think all day. Do you think the kids go there because they will be there or there's just a No, no, no. Just like they do it for like 10 years now, so it's a big family. But I keep forgetting that we didn't do the introduction yet. So <laughs> Yes, do the introduction! <laughs> Second time. It's unbelievable. <laughs> guys, guy. guys, guys. We started a little early because uh Jakub has to eat. Like we have dinner prepared for him. But I promise you that we will record when he's eating so that you can see it. But that doesn't act like like Oh we, we started so early. Yeah, we did. That's and it's 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 a uh, problem for them but we will be there at, at uh, so no yeah no we, problem for we, them. we'll finish uh, just a little bit early but it's going to be fine because you're going to show them what you ate so you checked out the stories and you know oh no the introduction again so <laughs> how did you get Adela with this little focus <laughs> fucking it's your fault that I'm not focused <laughs> <laughs> it's all your fault so for those that don't know who the hell you are Can you please there's like loads of them introduce yourself yes <laughs> there's like there's a, <laughs> most people don't know who I am and what I do oh, what the f- oh you got your nail man no I fucked up my equals yeah ah shit shit do you have USB-C I do thank you very much sir so, so I am I am I am Jakub Lužina uh, in English Jacob Lužina <laughs> so uh, and I am uh i don't know where to start. Uh, from uh, high school, I am a uh, singer and dancer and actor and uh, m- uh, musical actor. Actor. On the university, I have degree from puppetry and yeah. puppetry acting. I want to know more about this. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking funny shit. <laughs> and uh, after school, I was doing puppetry and then I started doing stand-up and from stand up it went to like the first podcast in Slovakia so it has some listeners and some momentum but it's not because it's good it's because it's the first one and then i had like a second podcast still the uh, both of them are still going good and uh, i uh, and I don't know. I am actor and I'm like a TV personality, but oh, if every this thing you say it, it sounds shitty to no. say. No, I don't know. No, it doesn't. I it, it is because like I am not a TV personality. It's not my job. I I'm doing it sometimes when they call me, uh, but it's not my job. 
I don't normally watch Slovak television, but yeah, of course. But I started Nobody to. Does. Nobody does. I st- I had to because I one of my future guests is going to be Fifko, who's in Farma now. Oh. And oh. Yeah, and you actually mm. had yeah. a little controversy with that Magor that uh, said like Christian. Did you hear what he said? Uh, what? That uh, he was complaining about you saying shit about him. No, I have Baron. Baron, oh, Baron was it? Baron and maybe the second guy as well because yeah, I talk shit about mm. him. Well, it's my job. The like the TV station pays me to go there a few times a week and talk shit about them. Man, how does it feel? <laughs> If you were to tell your younger self that you were going to be getting paid for talking shit about people, what would you have said? This is the thing. I don't know because Uh I I kind of like that I did everything right in my own way since the fucking high school. So whatever I gonna s- I'm gonna say to my younger self, uh the fucker's not gonna listen. <laughs> like th- there's no fucking way I know myself. <laughs> if you if, if the something there was like poof and there will be me from 50 years in the future t- telling me like don't go to the fucking bus station i'm going to the fucking bus station <laughs> that's the first why why yeah why, why only only he does the only he does the the fucking option to do it no so that's the thing maybe you need to do reverse psychology don't go yeah the bus I'm, i'm deep in this well <laughs> also so i don't know but i i really like it because that's the thing the, uh, i'm going there and i'm doing this one thing and i'm doing some few other things in television but i'm not the television guy i'm not uh, in these fucking galas and i'm not on these uh, red carpets and stuff do they invite you Be- to those yes but i don't go because i have other shit to do so that's the that's the really like good thing of it i have seven or eight like real jobs that i do constantly through the day one after like and i have no time for the perks of the jobs so why do them because i like doing shit i don't like to listen uh, like for example i uh, i have i don't know in in slovakia i have the most content like per minute on mm-hmm. the in, in, on this youtube thing and Uh, I never watched a single m- fucking many of them. I, I watched the f- from a start when we were like uh, finding the the st- the the groove, but never like full and never for like the what's inside. I, w- I always watch like this light and and this stuff, and uh, I don't like to to control myself. I don't like to to uh, like watch my things after because. I was trained to be uh, an actor and a comedian and so from fucking four years of my life. My mother was a director in, in theater and uh, she won't always wanted to be an actress. So guess fucking what. And <laughs> are, are, do, do you find that comedians are not treated in the same way as actors? Which is perfect. Which uh-huh. is like the best. I, I, I love it. Yeah, he has to pick something up. Be careful. Uh I love it. I love it because everybody knows. Everybody knows that I, I am an actor and I'm a comedian and I can tell you like acting is so fucking easy. It's so easy. <laughs> uh, uh if you put it against like the being a comedian, like the, the people crumble. Like I know the fucking the best actors now in Slovak in the prime and they crumble even uh, with the thought of going rogue and had no like uh 50 people to tell you what to do every single fucking second like i can't imagine well mm. it's funny so uh, i i don't know this is my introduction like i am uh, loads of things but mostly i am like I'm happy on the couch with my son. <laughs> that that's the, the that's the like the most recent version of me is like fucking I do everything so I can be uh on the couch or in the living room 
or on the fucking playground with my son. What, uh, what was the last thing that made you laugh that he did? Oh, everything. <laughs> everything. He's like, the, he's, he's, uh, I don't, uh, he's not going to be a famous comedian mm -hmm. because I am comedian and everything that your parents do, uh, you will not. He's little you. Yeah. <laughs> so he, but he, he has a perfect timing, for example. Like he, when he farts, he farts when, the, when it's the right thing. He never farts into a conversation. He always waits for a fucking cue. And then fart. And, and little things like this. Now he's uh, one year and, uh, I don't know, month and a half. So so he's learning to walk. So it's really funny because he's like a little drunk person, stumbling around. Like, and he has like this uh, this purpose driven. Like he goes and he will see shit and he will go like, ah! I want that shit. Ah! <laughs> nah! And everything is fucking 100%. There is no r remorse. There is not, no, like, uh, uh, can I do this? No. He goes fucking full in since the 5 a.m. when he's waking up to the fucking 8 p.m. when he's sleeping. He goes full. When you look at him and you th try to see yourself, what is the one thing that you, you're like, yeah, that, that, that was probably me. Uh, my mom says uh, I was like this. Uh, what's the what's the word for it? Uh, hyper, hyperactive, hyperactive child. But really, I I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't believe. Yeah, <laughs> I, I um uh, today I'm saying like I was the I for in my opinion I was one of the fucking calmest kids you you can imagine. But my parents say. I was hyperactive, and which is funny because it was like the 90s or 80s, 90s, and there were no doctors. So she just fucking read the word in some book, and she was, oh yeah, that's my, he's, he's, he's hyperactive. <laughs> she diagnosed yeah. you in the 90s. Yeah, it was so many hyperactive kids in, in my generation, uh, never did <laughs> diagnosed by <laughs> none of the professional <laughs> people. It was his parents like, oh, he's fucking up again, he's hyperactive. His, uh, I don't know. They diagnosed you with a beating. Yeah, I <laughs> wish they did it more. What? I think so. I wish they did it more. Like beat you more? <laughs> oh man, you're lucky. I got. I have Latino parents, so my ass <laughs> got beat on a regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> I got beaten, but like the, it was not beating. It was mostly the scare tactics. What what do you mean scare tactics? What would they How do? Not, not feed you? No no no! Like uh, the 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 old drama of it. Like they put the uh, wooden like what is the name the of spoon. the spoon? Yeah, wooden spoon, and like come slowly towards you. Like put your pants down, and you were shitting yourself. <laughs> and it took like five minutes. Okay. Then you get like little boom. And you go away. And, but the but <laughs> fucking the scare was real. I'm thinking about the cultural differences because <laughs> when you think about beatings, you Slovaks and mostly Europeans say a wooden spoon. Yes. But, Cult. but we in Latin America would say a schlapka. Oh, schlapka, <laughs> but schlapka is a projectile weapon. Yeah. Schlapka is projectile weapon. Did you know that there's no one with better accuracy than a Latino mom? Mm, a Slavic mom. <laughs> they are, they are a Slavic, no, Slavic grandma. Slavic grandma. <laughs> Slavka was a grandma thing. Can you imagine that Olympic, that uh, a show with Olympic competitions <laughs> between? <laughs> you will put uh, the, 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 like the, the really good Slavka uh, throwing people can throw it to the different room. Like fucking boomerang through. It's, it's amazing. It prof imagine professional babkas. You would be the coach. Like, we're going to get you ready. You got to hit that guy. Yeah, but can you fucking imagine being uh, uh, just the guy touching babka? I would never touch like a strange babka. No fucking way. <laughs> only the ones you know. Yeah, you, only your babka. Mm -hmm. You can touch your babka. Every other babka, it's, it's dangerous. That's why they look at me so weird. The, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I guess I should be careful of what I do. But I want to go back to the puppetry. Like, I didn't even know it was possible to study in Slovakia puppetry. On the university. But and, uh, you you get like a I have a magister de magister degree <laughs> <laughs> for like magister art. Okay, the, that sounds okay. Yeah, yeah. But the, art the magister magister of arts. Everybody from uh, Vashemo 
gets it. It's like a university of arts in Bratislava. So they don't distinguish like what f- for what type of art? No, no, no. That saved you. No, no, no. Uh, the puppetry is uh, for uh, in Czech Republic, in Slovak Republic, Poland, and Hungary, for mm-hmm. example. Uh, of the, I know it's really been like the alternative acting. It was always the Katedra of Alternative Niho Heredstvi, for example, in uh, in Prague. Uh, it was the you had like the straight acting of Stanislavski and only Stanislavski, and then you had like these hippies. Uh, which were like, I don't know, this is really like uh, only the fame and st- uh, and, and uh, glory and, and glitter and stuff. Uh, we want to do like the real shit. And that uh, was in Bratislava and still is uh, Cathedra of uh, Babkové Herectvo, uh, Cathedra of Puppetracting, which and is really nice because it's full of hippies and full of like open-minded people. They're doing stuff for the art not for the fame mostly has there been any czech or slovak puppet puppeteer that went to work for example for jim henson or sesame street in the us do you know i don't know i don't know we we have few some uh, if i think in the stan winston uh, school of character arts mm-hmm. and and that's it but we have like in in a, a european like view we we have pretty pretty good scene of uh, independent theater and and this artsy uh kind of it's not niche it's artsy like branch of of drama and why don't you, why don't you do something like adult puppetry or maybe there you is, do there, there is, is there there is i i, I don't do now but there is desorzovo babkove divadlo here in bratislava mm-hmm. the guy like 10 years older than me and it's like fucking porn and uh, comics and it's really 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 graphic and really good so fucking funny they had sandokan do you, do, do you know sandokan <laughs> i know sandokan yeah so they had like the, the fucking hour and a half tale of a sandokan fucking with the funniest dialogues you can ever imagine it was like lasica satinski on fucking steroids it was really good have you seen team, Am- team america world police yes of course what did you think of it Yeah, it's very nice work. It's very nice work uh, from the, like the, jak uh, remeslo? From the creators? Uh, no, 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 no. From the, not art, but the actual, uh, actual work. Actual, like, woodworking. Oh, and, uh, uh, like, hand- real, handcraft. Yeah, it's really good from the handcraft uh, uh, point of view and also the craft. Yeah, craft. From the craft point of view, it's like amazing. And writing, cause come on, these two guys are the, one of the best writers in the world. They're If insane. you want an irreverent comedy and fucking stupidity. And and that's kind of one of the topics I wanted to cover. But before we go there, somebody I'm said... I'm going to drink now. Go so ahead. And while you do that, I'm going to go through the comments. All right? Yes, please. I cannot... Uh, what are the com- I always wanted to... <gasps> There's a lot okay. of comments. Okay. And you know what? There's Then a lot Frankie. of people. You know? There is my guy, Ten Frankie. He's like, uh, he's uh, he, the studio guy. Like the s- he's watching you. He's he's, he's the best um, uh, in the studio making business. I'm fucking ever know. He can. He go, works for you. Uh, he works with me, not okay. for me. Uh, Even better. I, I I'm sending him money, but it's not like I I'm employing him. It's, it's donations. Uh, yeah, it's only donations for the guy. <laughs> but he can go to fucking empty room. And be like, oh, I can make a studio of this one. You can, you just need a and he gives you a list from the fucking head. It's, ah. it's an amazing guy. Uh, both of my podcasts are like alive mainly like thanks to Frankie. And we turned him into this mythical person. Like he has no face. And every studio has his, his version of Frankie. So he has he revealed his face or nobody no, has? No, 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 nobody has ever seen. Okay, so not even me. Good for Frankie. He's even pixelated for me. And we are like fucking friends for years. Jesus. I know Maybe a couple of YouTubers. Jesus. Maybe he's Maybe. Jesus. Maybe he's behind the sofa all the time. Maybe he's a famous YouTuber. Okay, so uh, nice meeting you through this. Then Frankie. Lara, she was <laughs> waiting. Not Toto some chakala. In English, Lara, please. I cannot, I cannot uh, read Slovak now. Yeah, so guys, uh, we this. don't know what, uh, what did you say. So I think she says, yeah, she will have to write it in English. Yeah, write it in English. And Lou Vojtkova says, I'm so happy to see you, Jakub. You know Lou? Uh, 
She's moderator for yes. Dushan. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And for me too, look, she gave, she has a little wrench What does too. it mean, moderator? What is it? Well, they look at the chat and then if somebody's saying some pichovina, they get rid of it. And what do they get out of it? I, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. It's How much do you pay these people? At the moment, nothing. I don't make money. <laughs> I'm broke as fuck. Everybody's broke as fuck, but we pay our people. Yeah, so <laughs> how much do, are you paying these poor souls? They have to fucking read all of this fucking smiley faces They shit. <laughs> this, there are hearts and smiley faces and, and emoticons. I don't make money from this. <laughs> I have ADHD just for fucking looking at it. <laughs> Jesus. So man. actually, you know, all you the have to start to pay them. All you have to pay your people. Guys, <laughs> if we... You if have to. We, You you want me to. To, let me know if you want payment we can discuss afterwards but the thing is that all the money that we make goes to charity oh that's really nice i didn't know that dobry angle oh okay that's like uh this is the president guy is there show. a better one that we can donate money to you, no 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 i don't i don't think so because they're really good uh, in for example like this guy you mean this guy yeah Uh, and I and I like kind of like the guy, but uh, just na- kind of. No, uh, yeah, he was in politics, so <laughs> fuck him a little bit. It's really like, uh, <laughs> but uh, I really, for example, in last I don't know months or something, uh, uh, I really thought about like not even employing uh, a charity. Just uh, find uh, you. Uh, you will get them as well. For mm-hmm. example, on the Instagram, like uh, three people a day are writing you. Like we have a, uh, uh, we have, uh, son, mm-hmm. which is uh, disabled. We have to bring him to places and stuff. We don't have a car. Is there any chance you uh, can share this story so uh, oh, people wow. can uh, donate as money for a car? What do you do? For example, either? just like give them the car. What, what is do the, the one? Uh, not many things mm-hmm. for many small things for many people, but just make the one story really good ending one. What is the one that's affected you the most, Jakub? That you read these days children like children fucking get me now when uh when, when being a father yeah it's oh like the things i saw two three years ago didn't fucking move me like none and now i'm crying i literally i am crying uh, it's uh, it's really hard i don't know maybe i'm just like an emotional person but no i think that you i Imagine I was discussing this with my previous guest Michal from Mad Monk. Mishko. He was here yesterday actually. You really? could probably still smell his farts on that Aww. chair. <laughs> See, so, but we were discussing how it's so disgusting that there's people like Ye- Jeff Bezos uh from Amazon and um what's his face? And and the guy from Tesla that have so much money. Musk. Yeah, Musk. And but they have so much money, but actually they don't have so much money. Yeah, because they money, there's money is uh, binded in in uh, warehouses or in employees in in stocks. But actually, they don't have the money. But they live well. They live well. But uh, me, for example, as a white Central European uh, heterosexual, mm-hmm. I cannot complain about. You are the devil now. Yeah, I cannot complain. About, I, I fucking, I, I, uh, I crawled up from my mother with a fucking golden ticket in my head. <laughs> so, what are your pronouns? Uh, I am uh, me. <laughs> me and It's okay? you. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm me. I'm me. Somebody mentioned that you have Diablo behind you. Are you a fan of Diablo? Or yes, what? of course. It's right there. Oh! And it's not the old one. It's the old one? It's from the... This uh, is Diablo 2. It, it's from the second one, yeah. 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 Uh, yes, I am a big Diablo fan. Diablo taught me English. Really? How? You were reading or what? No, it was the first English game I, I had. So, But from And I played. But uh, w- like you, you as a Slovak fucking yeah. guy in the 90s, you will never learn a scimitar. <laughs> fucking never, sure. never. And Deckard Cain t- t- taught me more. Stay and listen. Hey, yeah, yeah. That's a lesson for life. 
yeah. when Deckard came. It's uh, it was like a. There was an era in the, in in our educational system. Now it's really good. Now there's no no fucking uh, <laughs> mistake in <laughs> nowadays and in, in the educational is like yeah. It's perfect. But there, yeah, it's perfect, flawless. You can say, but uh, it was it, it was an era when like there was like one teacher and she teaches Russian language and suddenly the the revolution comes. And suddenly on the next day she's like, now I talk English! And you're like, no fucking way. And <laughs> it was, uh, you know. That's why people have beautiful English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to wait for a fucking decade <laughs> to, to, to listen to real English. And it was nothing like, it was vis me, vis me. It was like this. My mom, my mom has a Cambridge degree of this uh, English, I don't know, learning stuff. And she she's like, vis me, come vis me, Jacob. And, and they gave it to her. So, you know. <laughs> I, think, I think they didn't even give a fuck as long as she paid. Yeah. But the thing with Diablo is that I was I was a teenager when I was playing it. And I don't know if you remember 56K modems. Those that were connected to the telephone line, the internet. Oh, yeah, of course. You know, you had hit. <laughs> so imagine young me. Yep. Trying to play the game, trying to get online without my parents noticing. But online? Why the fuck would you want to go online? Diablo 2 was meant to be played online. <sighs> so you were single playing that? Yes, of course. But yes, didn't of course. you miss like people around? No. <laughs> so what no, did no, you... no. We, we didn't have a computer at home. So we played in this like computer clubs, it was uh -huh. called. It was computer club. Now you can see like a fucking South Korea, it's called. Uh, also, PC game club, mm -hmm. uh, video game club. It was like a they have Storm here in Bratislava. Yes, Storm, Storm. Yeah, Storm, Storm. So yeah. was it that one? No, I was a little bit younger, uh, older when I came to Bratislava. But in Stjanica we had something like Storm, and every child was coming there, paying for an hour, and playing uh, their safe of Diablo. And it was like everybody else was watching. There was like four computers. Was there and any 50 kids? Was there any dicks that would delete the uh, save files from the other kids? Oh no 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 and no! And no, I no, would. No. I'm from a small town. Like people are nice in my my, my town, but there were a few dicks which like they didn't let you play. Mm. And my brother w was in a game who can play the longest. He he could play like 68 hours. He played. It was insane. And what what was your favorite mission if you still remember? Diablo no 2? Yeah. I can still remember. I can I, I have Diablo 2 on my computer and uh, I mastered. I have modded it, so I have this uh Symbian, no 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 no. Uh map pack. So yeah, some some kind of version that adds like zillion of new items and new systems and new imbues and all all this stuff. So you my favorite, I don't know. I really hated the jungle. Really hated, Act always three. hated the jungle, the upper kuras, the lower kuras. Oh, I hated Act Two, the desert. No, I love the desert. What? Are you I crazy? Love the It's desert. the worst. I love the last fucking location. I, I love it. The last uh, portal was the best for farming yeah, ever. That's the best you boss. Just, yeah, that's the best boss. You just farm. You can kill him in like 20 seconds with a weak character and you just farm, farm. After eight hours, there... You are fucking built. You are built. You are a built character. Yeah, but that's Duriel. Duriel scared the shit out of me when I was younger. All those well, characters. Uh, you have not to be squishy for Duriel. I am a pussy when it comes to that. I will not lie. Okay, so while you're having your non-alcoholic drink, mm -hmm. because we are respectable people here. Yeah, I'm a father. And father yeah, and cannot. you cannot be doing anything. I drive here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we will This not was a not good joke. I know it was not good joke for the current me meta team in the too in, soon in the side guys too but soon there is no not nothing like too soon we will not judge you he says we know your humor okay perfect comment for the situation I almost got arrested once but people from the police were polite that's Pauli B it's weird to hear they can be like for example I if you're a girl no 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 I had a really few fucking weird errands with Slovak police. Like, for example, they stopped me. And like, where is your uh, PZP? Where is your insurance. insurance? Yeah, insurance. Basic insurance you have to have. 
And I was like, I don't know, it is this. I gave them Piper. And they're like, no, it's fucking two years old. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe. Uh, so now they say only emails. Uh, so I will check my emails. No, uh, I didn't have an email, not nothing. <laughs> For how long were you keeping them there? <laughs> uh, and the guy was like, can you really try, sir? It's like, it's really easy to find in your emails. And I said, yes, but you don't know me, man. I really hate technology. So, and my wife wasn't there in the car. And uh, suddenly, the, I find out I didn't have, like, one of the license and registration cards as well. And the guy is getting, like, a little pissed off. And he goes, like, just go. Just go. And I was like, yeah, but maybe I don't even have the insurance. If I, sir, 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 sir. <laughs> if, I, if I cannot find it, doesn't mean I don't have it. And he just fucking go. And, and they <laughs> So... I don't know. Sometimes they are nice. You were pushing your luck so much. No, but uh, with the police in Slovakia, for example, I um, I'm doing the same shit I do with everybody. I am just fucking open. I'm I'm not there to like. I'm polite. I'm really polite. If I do something, like they pull me over and they say, "Did you know why would you pull?" Yes, I know. Yes, sir. I know it's my bad. I see it was a, it was orange light, but I know when you saw it, it had to be uh, so. How much? How much? Uh, I know I made a mistake. I'm really sorry. And they're actually like really nice. You have to be dick. Mm. So. And maybe you can use like Citron has this very good stand up beat. Citron, my my friend, mm -hmm. and uh, he's like, just throw them away. Like when they pulled you over, like sir, how much do you think you you w this will cost you? And you just go, I don't know, four thousand euros, four thousand, just to fucking throw them away. Yeah, just like to confuse them. But I'm always, always, always polite. Because that's uh, how I am in normal life. I'm really polite, g gray mouse type of person. I have to be very honest that policemen here are much better than in the U.S. Policemen in the U.S., like, if I go to them, they are rude, really? aggressive. Yeah. It, it And it can, uh, can it be, glob like, can, can you can you say, like this globalization of it or, or are there just islands of, of, of bad police or is it thing that is spreading even to the fucking I, I think it spreads because when you get groups people always become strange in groups like they yep. they build hierarchies and and you know the, the kind of profile of people that are cops in the US it's limited right the, even the test for them to become cops it's based on IQ as well. And when you get people with median to low IQ, and this is the only place where they have any sense of, not ownership, but that they that they are in charge. Yeah. That's the worst a person or the person that you should be scared the most of. Somebody who is in a small environment and they think they have power over you. Yeah. Mm. But it's it's a uh, it's in the human nature. That's the that's the really like it's not a bad thing. That's the thing. We cannot say it's a bad thing because it's a human thing, and uh, we are humans. And I don't know. I I know we are better, and uh, we will never abuse our power. I had a few chances. I can never. Have. But I still like in the smallest way can understand the doings of fucking every person like you you can watch Jeffrey Dahmer documentary I just finished it yeah my great wife documentary love it. it's, fucking, it's, it's so slow it's so boring it's you have to wait about there's no jokes it's like oh, it's, oh. <laughs> where would you have a jokes in Dahmer because why not you are spending <laughs> your lifetime you are spending your fucking life I want to spend my life only on fucking jokes and humor. But there's the thing. I can understand even this fucking guy. Like, yeah, I can get it. Like, I, I get it. We are the, the same species. I can understand the serial killer. I can understand racist. I can understand fucking misogynic person. Yeah, I... But the funny thing is, like, every single of these people, for example, was a baby. Like, 
was a fucking innocent mm-hmm. baby learning so where cool. did they go wrong that's 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 the for me the most interesting uh, thinking uh, pattern now like see the bad person good person doesn't matter which person and look at like it, it was a baby there's a series of decisions that make this person which i'm talking to now and that's the funny thing for me now but, but because i have a baby and it's interesting you mentioned that because i was i had a realization the other day with my friend where we saw this guy this drunk guy and he was coming to ask for money and he was relatively young like my age right and he was <laughs> I, <laughs> i i couldn't uh, understand <laughs> like of course of uh, course <laughs> very young <laughs> it, it almost went over your head <laughs> For a little by the way i just made you laugh am i a comedian now where do i get my check as the people <laughs> you are not paying boy <laughs> i don't know <laughs> people if, if, if you want me to pay them then <laughs> Listen, <laughs> send them money directly just <laughs> don't give a fuck about it just send them money yeah so lou you can put your paypal there so yes. people can <laughs> donate. send you money directly for your work imagine th- where are we in the world where brown man is exploiting kind young white people huh you you, you come <laughs> far boy you come far <laughs> oh man it's like the <laughs> i i felt like the character from from god of war <laughs> the best parent ever boy come here boy are you gonna play the new one uh, i didn't play any of it what the hell? I, i have only pc i don't have any of it's this. on pc now you have no excuse now uh, I'm, okay so this is my new excuse i'm not playing games anymore uh, you have a kid. i just don't play games anymore it was, it was before the kid it was before the kid like uh, for example like i always love to do like the vid and stuff and play games and suddenly i only like to do vid and suddenly I only like to like lay on the couch and not to do vid. It's, life comes in stages and I really like every fucking stage of it. So I really liked like when I was really young and I took fucking LSD and I, I played for fucking two days. It was brilliant. But now I cannot take LSD and play for two days because even if I don't have a baby, like there's seven eight jobs every day that's gonna fucking kill me if i don't answer the message in next half an hour because i train them to wait half an hour um, normally it's like why you are not answering like 10 seconds come on come on i have i whenever i party i have to think about it because for one day of party i will spend three days in bed and there's <laughs> the other shit but uh, i i cannot uh, like compare because i didn't drink Till the COVID, I just didn't drink for all my life. It was disgusting to me. And during the COVID, I got so bored. I got uh, like... Uh, to how many people are watching? 58 people. Okay. They, it's g- gonna get a lot more views after? Uh, I hope so. Uh, so uh, like, like If people don't 50, like you, 000, probably not. 50,000 max? It, it depends on... Uh, uh, No, actually, yeah, I don't have a. I have, my highest episode is forty-seven thousand. Nice. So, so you are safe. When I am, when I am bored, uh, d- and I was bored during the COVID, there was like uh, two roads to to like fucking do drugs and do cocaine and just uh, fucking or uh, to have drink. And <laughs> yeah, I I chose the drinking bit because I, I think I'm too young to die of a heart attack. So. <laughs> I started to slowly drinking during the COVID. What did you start with? Uh, What was your gateway? Scotch. Scotch. I, I, re- I really got into like the expensive... But uh, that's like the worst uh, to start with. No, I, whiskey is so disgusting to me. Mm, whiskey is brilliant to me. Like La Fra, uh, for example, uh, my the best and the, uh, the, the whiskey I love the most is Lagavulin. Uh, it's very nice and... Uh, I I got into the scotches and then I got to the room and now I am like the 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 average drinker maybe but I don't get much hangovers and I if I do I cannot compare it to anything else like my friends 
are like, oh, I'm you uh, are lucky. I am after 30. The hangover is so much brutal than when I was 19. And I'm like, when I was 19, I didn't drink nothing, just like fucking mineral water and smoke hashish. So Screw you guys. <laughs> I, I cannot compare. So I don't get much hangover. I just woke up and I'm shitting and I know like, yes, you drink yesterday, come on. How, how But you have to work. It's like the best thing for hangover is fucking work. There is uh -huh. no there is no like food or drink or you have to do fucking raw egg. No. Wake up and realize you have fucking eight hours of five different works in front. You will get fucking sober. You will you there is no time for headache. So you don't have a headache. It's easy. It's for me it's easy. I, I know what you're talking about because I remember going to my job when I was younger. Which job? Come on. I in a coffee shop that we will not name. But I was going to the coffee shop <laughs> after coffee shop like smoking or no 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 like a normal coffee shop in Slovakia. And okay. can we I smoke here? You can do whatever oh. you want. And uh when I got there they were opening the store like literally from the party to work i was going and the minute that my boss came in i was sober <coughs> yeah i did this i i was in bratislava when i was 14 i came here to live on this like student home and uh, sometimes we went uh, on the drum and bass parties and uh, straight from the drum and bass party I I went to school, but uh, not like a uh, university, but ordinary, normal high school. I was. You were still in high school. I was 14. Oh, I didn't uh, hear that part. I came to Bratislava when I was 14. And you I came alone? alone. Yeah. That's, that's young for a kid, no? Mm, it's perfect. How did you feed yourself? How... No, 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 my parents gave me money. Oh, okay. I lived in the student house. Okay, I thought uh, they just kicked you out, fuck off. <laughs> no, 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 it's, uh, it was the only way to study the acting. You were in Intrak. Yeah, I was in Intrak with fucking adult people from my age of 14. How did you not drink? <laughs> <laughs> how, did you not, how did you not drink till you were in... Uh, because I, uh, I was in the hippie group. I, I was smoking weed, playing fucking drums and, and stuff. And everybody else was drinking, but I was more interested in shrooms and LSD and all <laughs> that. Is. And I was, yeah, 14 to 18. Oh, man. You were not scared to be alone? No, being alone is the best. You, you, yeah, how can you be scared? I mean, uh, the reason I'm asking is because here in Slovakia, from all the places I lived, and this is probably my strongest experience, is that boys are very cuddled by moms. And boys don't know how yeah, to I live alone. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. I have few friends, like, they're still... Maminka. Like in, in the, maminka, yeah, in the 30s. And it's so disgusting. What is that it's called? It's just Ma disgusting. Maminka Hotel? Mama Hotel. Mama Hotel. How can you bring girls, for I example? Hate I hate it. Yeah, I, I I never understand this stuff. I wanted to be uh, independent since I had a vision of it. And I I like to travel by myself. I never wanted my parents to fucking even know what I'm doing. Because I I can call and I can say I'm okay. I'm in fucking Poland. Or I'm, I'm, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, yes, I, mom. I, I'll be back in two days. Yeah, I hitchhiked <laughs> to the fucking... Yeah, I hitchhiked uh, in the Greece Islands. <laughs> You ever hitchhiked a boat? It's no. so fucked. I'm brown. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hitchhiked. They, they would think I'm stealing the car. Yeah. <laughs> they would think, oh, another immigrant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I hitchhiked fucking boats, like, for a few months in Greece. Yeah, how do you do? <laughs> you just, hey, guys, stop. <laughs> no, no, no. You, you spend the night in the bar and you talk with the guys. And they have boat, and so you like, can I? Can you just take me to another? And the other thing was we like um, cheated on the companies. There are big ferry companies in the Greece Islands. You can mm, buy a ticket to the nearest island, and then go to the fucking forest. Nobody's just checking. They are. You have to hide. You have to hide in Jesus. the. In yeah, the yeah, for example, one one time I did hide under the. Cars, 
So the guard with the flashlight comes over and see that no one is here there and you will lay there for fucking six hours. Are you secretly not Guatemalan? <laughs> like me? <laughs> Be honest. Yeah, but it was only for a few months. It was it was not like, come on, uh, you have to have uh, adventures in your life. And I really liked the adventure as I was young. I really liked, for example, traveling all alone. I just hitchhiked a uh, big fucking truck. And are you going to Brno? Yes, yes, please, take you, me to you Brno. You were not afraid of truckers driving? No, never. Never ever happened. Uh, uh, I never ever ha bad happened to me. Uh, not bad. No, like I, I didn't hitchhike a car and I have to sleep next mm -hmm. to the road. <laughs> But it's not bad. It's just like fucking bad luck. But no, yeah, never. No one gets angry with me. No one gets aggressive. No one molested me. Because, uh, for example, yet. I think, yeah, yet, I think the charm of my uh, adventurous life is I was too fucking stupid. Yeah, you are just too, too dumb. So nothing will ever happen to you. You can eat every fucking mushroom psychedelic you can take and you will never have a bad trip because you don't know there can be a bad trip. Mm -hmm. N n you will never get molested by a fucking truck driver because you are yeah. too dumb. You are too dumb to be you are like, uh, are you going to Brno? And guy, yes. So I'm going to Brno with you, okay? <laughs> Do you have a friend who goes to Prague? And the, the driver was like, no, but I will drop you off on the gas station next to the like highway to Prague and you will get there like, ask few truckers. And I, okay, the trucker <laughs> like dropped me off. And I went straight to the, like, parked trucks, like, <laughs> hello, are you going to park? I, I would never do that. Like a fucking prostitute, like baby fucking boy with no hair, nothing, like 15, 14 year old. Like, are you going to park? Nobody ever thought you were some... No, I have always, like, told... Them talk with people like ah, is there is a concert in Prague and my brother is there and I want to go there are you going to Prague no okay no, okay another one like okay did you ever make any friends from those interactions yes you always make friends and are you in touch with any of them no so I'm not in touch with any of my friends uh, we, uh, uh, we don't know my work cycle uh, work circle that is the thing like uh, I made Jillion of friends, but I don't stay in touch. So who would be the one friend that you would want to reach out to? And what is the story of how you met uh, from your travels? Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe my uh, roommate in the Intraki. Uh -huh. Because uh, I, I live there. Then I got kicked out of the school. And from like Monday to Tuesday, I lost all the connection. Like lost. I never was interested in Facebook and, and stuff, so... So what was that guy's name? Macho Kusi, Martin Kusi. And Martin Kusi. where is he now, do you know? He's in Bratislava. <clears throat> We gotta find him. No, no, I, I, I'm, I'm writing with him, but I never... Uh -huh. We are too busy, and that's the shit. And always in my life, I am with the people I physically am. I'm really sorry, maybe it's a selfish thing, I, I, I don't know. But it's really, for me, it's not, it's not stupid, but it's really illogical to keep, like, tangle with the, the, the friends from fucking yesterday. I, I, I know it sounds silly, but there is no logic in keeping up with people that are not in your life, like, physically, because... Because why? But why? you would still meet them, at least for a drink every few years, no? Few years, yeah. yeah. But that's the adult way, few yeah. years. And I, th I understand you because I, would, I have some best friends that I don't meet with at all often. We meet maybe once a year. But it's good when we meet. Like, yeah. I, like, I hate when people are writing all the time. I hate chatting. It's the worst thing for me. Mm. Are you a chatter? If I have a time, that's the thing. I don't use this phone thing much, but if I have a time, 
Uh, I, 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 yeah, but like ninety percent of my chat is unanswered. I think mm-hmm. so. I'm glad because that you answered my message. Yes, yeah, because Dushko. <laughs> Good. Dushko. Thank you, Dushko. So now, before we forget, uh, we need to sign the PC. Every guest that comes to something. Oh, okay. Let me just, yeah. Okay. Anywhere you want. And people, people <coughs> will see that. <laughs> yeah, okay. I put the okay. signed okay. camera. Okay. Signed <laughs> camera. Uh, how many guests you gonna have? Hey, it doesn't matter. You sign whatever you want. The Wha- doke, okay. Mm-hmm. Petrus Naskle. Mm-hmm. My wife is jealous of her. Why? I don't know, man. So you, you don't follow her on Instagram? I don't follow much much, much people. You uh, follow me? From uh, today. Thank you. From today. Uh, I hope you won't unfollow me when you leave the house. Like, oh, fuck this guy. Oh, boy. Lujin. And and then in the little quotations, uh, Jacob, because you your English name. Tak dáme tu Jacob It sounds t- uh, Italian. Like, Jacob Bolujin, eh? <laughs> Maybe. Do you, where is your family from originally? Banka, Banska uh, Serbia? Serbia or, or something Serbian. like that. Serbian. Yeah, yeah, something like that. I And uh, there was like the one great chess player uh, named Lujin. It's also a film. Lužinova obrana. Lužin's defense. Uh, Lužina's defense. Uh, which is a film about fucking chess. So... So that's really Mucho interesante. Very much. Mucho have, you, have you been to Belgrade? No, 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 no. What is wrong with you? I, I was in Serbia, uh, Slovenia, uh, Croatia, Yugoslavia, uh, this uh, fucking black, I don't know, Cherna Hora? Th- this black. Montenegro, <laughs> Montenegro. Monte- Cherna Hora, yeah. Uh, Montenegro is supposed to be really nice with nature. Was that true? Every 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 of this region is uh, really nice with nature, but in Montenegro you have a really nice uh, viperit, uh, uh, poisonous snake, viper. And that really nice. Yes, it is. Oh, oh actually, beautiful. you are a, you are a snake lover, actually, right? I'm a scorpion and spider and insect and, and uh, centipedes and millipede lover. Yeah, yeah. Every uh, animal. I like cockroaches. I like every animal because it's the same as us. And uh, it's maybe sometimes it's more beautiful because you can actually see in their heads like they're stupid. They have fucking four uh, incentives to go and that's it. So it's really calm to, for example, I, I really love to just stare at my lizards or snakes mm-hmm. or, or and uh, just empathetically think like them which is so nice like for example my lizard every time he eats he has to go under the heating lamp mm-hmm. and chill and chill and even if i like feed him in the evening he will go to the heating lamp but every time the darkness hits him he just falls asleep where he is Like in the middle of the step, for example. Doesn't give a fuck. It doesn't give a fuck. It's dark. I'm sleeping. <laughs> It's so fucking nice. It's so nice. I had trouble with sleep like for 20 years. And to look at this fucker, like every time I'm around there when he's going to sleep, and he goes like, chick, it's dark. <laughs> and the lizard goes like, oh, yeah, fuck it. It's so fucking. But can you imagine how annoying that might be? That the guy might have a date. Like, yeah, I gotta go meet this bitch. He doesn't. Oh, is that? He doesn't have anything. <laughs> I own him. I, I am his whole world. Like, there is nothing. The dead lizard has to be. Do you think they are capable of love? No. I will tell you a story, and no. you tell you tell they're me. They're capable of affection. Uh huh. And so? they're capable of tolerance. They're capable of. Uh, reproducing mm, for sure but uh, the love uh, as we see it i don't think so because even the things you can uh, uh say it's a love-like behavior mm-hmm. it's for me if you know the things uh, it's mostly you can say like he's not happy to see you it's like oh this is the person which when appears i have food So 
you can generalize it like a food drive. And then it's not fucking love. Mm-hmm. So that's... Can I go to pee? You can. For a of second. Course. Of course. While you are, uh, uh, let me show you. The bathroom is the first door on the right. Door it. That one there. Okay. While Jakub is in the bathroom, we will go through the comments. So, it's weird to hear uh, Jakub speaking in English. Oh, it's different, no? What, when comedy special in English? Oh, I'm going to ask him when he comes back, right? Okay. Uh, no, he didn't eat yet. Hi, George. Still can't. <laughs> yeah, he's here. Hello, he's here. Islamic moms versus Latino moms would be amazing. Yeah, everybody would love that. Uh, hi guys, thank you for both for perfect podcast. Thank you, Marek Dovina. Yeah, thank you so much, Lou, for doing this for free. Maybe one day when I'm rich, I'll pay you guys. What is sprujina? I don't know what that means. Best dream. Okay, it's my kind of hobby, so I love doing it. Yeah. Moderators are useful when creator is busy and can't delete. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. And it's becoming more and more difficult to to look at the chat while... Oh, that was a quick poop. Yeah, uh, I'm a quick pooper. Yeah. Just probably can't go to the toilet for the next hour, right? Yeah, it's a quick pooper, but yeah, you have to paint the walls. So look, there's a nice comment here. Um, uh, ta, 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 ta. Oh, what happened? I lost the comment that was nice to you. There was one? Yeah. Oh, thank you very <laughs> much, guys. They're asking if you if you ate yet. No, but I'm good with not eating it. Okay. But you will have good food after, so don't be And afraid. And I will bring some to my wife. Exactly. A so lot of it, actually, because everything there is for you. So oh, I will pack no. it for you, whatever no, you don't man. eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I spent so many hours yesterday cooking and today also. So you will take Do it. Do you like it? Love it. They love it. If, if Cooking is one of the best meditations in life, and, I think. And so. people don't do it enough. Yeah. For the for the amount of cooking we are designed as a fucking Homo sapiens sapiens, we don't do it enough. It was it was never like this. It was never like you can uh, fucking not cook a liver. Your whole life. You how, cra- how crazy is that? How crazy is there are people in this fucking second, they never touched a raw meat. How is that possible? And they eat meat. There's like no, there's no, no, no vegan. They just don't cook the meat. It's insane. Never touch the onion. Do you, how? Do you believe that you can put love to your food? I, I believe... You can think so. But I mean, you can taste when people doesn't like what they... Oh, what people doesn't like. Jesus, I'm the English podcaster. <laughs> Say people don't like cooking. You can taste it in their food sometimes, no? Yeah, but it's all about the story. It's all about the story. If I change the story and uh, the same fucking schnitzel made by angry wife, she doesn't like to cook for her husband... And if I take that and, and I bring to you and say this was my grandpa uh, grandma's recipe, oh, it's I all guess about you can manipulate yes, me. of course. Placebo is a big time thing in the real big billion dollar business, so it has to work in the home kitchen too. What is your placebo in life? Uh, I don't know. How do how do you mean it? I mean it like uh, maybe the way that you give it to people. How do you? What placebo do you feed people? Hmm. Do you have what? Like I don't think I have. But when you're doing comedy, isn't there something that you do to? You take it or you don't. How do you break the walls? With honesty, with honesty. Honesty is the best thing uh, with comedy. Because uh, you can see it in your eyes, uh, and they can see it. It's the one of the most important things in comedy is to like you're on the stage, and 
I will look to every single fucking pair of eyes in the f- first four rows. What do you do with hecklers? Destroy them. <laughs> with comedy. Yeah, yeah, but it's very nice. I like them. I really like the show when someone is heckling. In Slovakia, mostly it's drunk guys, mm-hmm. but sometimes it's like a good fucking prepared heckler and it's the best because it keeps you on edge. So do you have professional hecklers in the stand-up comedy circuit? No, 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 no. But there are a few people that are like after a few drinks, they're not drunk, but they they think they are funny. And it's fun thing because you are setting up yourself to a failure because you are up against trained fucking paid professional in in making people laugh. So you cannot win. It's like there is never was a thing like the heckler won up against the good comedian. You have to really like be not such a good comedian. And it's all about uh self respect and, and stuff. But I love it. I really like I really enjoy every heckler. Do you consider yourself an insult comic? No, not really. And are you familiar with any like Lisa Lampanelli, for example? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't really think there is an insult comedy anymore. Okay, so, uh, there isn't. There, there isn't. There is not insult comedy anymore because it's kind of it kind of morphed. If you want to insult comedy, just watch everything about Trump from SNL, NBC, Trevor Noah, J- Oliver. So you will get insult comedy which is like weaved into mm, the normal jokes which is kind of sad but i can get it because people nowadays are not made for much of insults they can take it like if they it, it's it, the whole for example the whole whole roast idea i'm really thinking about the roasting the fucking generation generation not roasting the single person but the roasting the generation of for example like hipsters or for example like the generation z and stuff because that for me is uh, primarily funny because it's generalization which is not true mm-hmm. it's not true none of the generalizations are true but somehow they are based <laughs> they are based on something it's yeah? fucking true like 100% So, you know, have you ever been canceled? No, and I'm not uh, even going to be because I I never will be so big and none of the Slovakia people will. We we are little country in the heart of the Europe with the fucking language uh, that it's our own and our brothers from Czech Republic cannot fucking listen to it. So, <laughs> We are like five million of people. You cannot get cancelled uh, because you cannot get famous as as a comedian. And I and I really love it. There's the thing like a few years uh, ago, uh-huh. a few years, a few years dozado something panglitsky. Uh-huh. Uh, it bugged it, it bugged me because I wanted to be the f- fucking guy. The 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 famous person but what was attractive about fame for you mm. a co- sense of accomplishment is the thing i was trained to fucking do you can s- not big things but like i was hyped and trained to do to be the great actor of 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 of, of slovens and and stuff and it never happened because and because i didn't want it to happen and uh, i was always there was like this because the thing is like you're doing a great living you have a great wife and decision but there is still like this little demon in your head like going like but you fucking can be there with the big league and uh, and then suddenly suddenly maybe because i uh, i have friends in the big league and the life isn't so <laughs> great it's so much harder fucking than my life now uh and i suddenly realized like uh the things have changed i really appreciate for example my free time like i never did 
I wasted my free time through fucking 30s, like, no, I mean, 20s, like a fucking asshole. Now, like, if I have free time, I appreciate it. I will have the free time. I will watch the fucking uh, House of the Dragons. But I go to sleep at half past nine because I'm waking up to one job. Da, 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 and I love it. I love it. I complain about it all the time, but I fucking love it because the sense of accomplishment is much more bigger than I just made it in Slovenska Narodne Divadlo. Because now I made it all by myself through fucking five different things. So it was five times uh, I, no, you know. I know. And what is the thing that you enjoy the most, actually? You do a lot. Podcast. No, stand-up comedy. Stand-up comedy, but stand-up comedy is very, really bipolar. So as much as you enjoy it, as much as you hate it. Because you enjoy when the set is good, but like the four hours before you go on stage, you are the most miserable person on earth. You're like, I am worthless, miserable, fucking fat cunt with no sense of humor. But when you go on stage, it can heal a broken leg. Like you can have a broken leg, but for the 15 minutes on stage, you feel nothing. It's like, it's the most brilliant. You have no fever, you have no illness. Like when you are on stage, There is nothing like it biochemically in the brain. But uh, like in the normal life, nowadays the podcasting is the best fucking shit because there's no incentive to be funny. So you are just fucking funny like when you are with uh, with your friends. And don't you get nervous because every time it doesn't matter how many times I talk with people, I'm always so nervous. You're supposed to be nervous. So that's a good sign. No, it's like you are talking to a stranger. You're supposed to be nervous. You you uh, cannot be like with your buddies from 20 years ago. Like, hey, what's up, mm-hmm. bitch? You, uh, you can, but the lady president doesn't like it. So, <laughs> Was she in your podcast yet? No. No, I, I, I don't want any higher officials on high uh, politician people in my podcast because for example if the president comes and mm-hmm. there was fucking talk uh, there is a secret service few yeah. days before they will call fucking sweep your mm-hmm. studio mm-hmm. Well, well fuck that mm-hmm. no way no no fucking way is there any chance of any government body sweeping my <laughs> not that they would find anything my, of course huh? no it's just like the fucking what no <laughs> it's just privacy mm, it's it's yeah it's like integrity issue no fucking way and you gotta wait for her to be out of office or to promise us she will come as like a normal person mm-hmm. with bodyguards and shit but I can tell you we are not going to assassinate you So be rest assured hey, that nothing will happen to you. Yeah. It, no, no things can happen but you have bodyguards. <laughs> but there will be no fucking sweeping of our offices. No way. I I I'm strictly opposed to that for any reason. Why don't you meet her in a limo or at the presidential palace? There's the thing. Uh, we we can uh, like tell Frankie to fucking pick up And you can make can, a studio we, there. We can sh- make studio anywhere. We we did Lusivchak live two two times and it was the most brilliant shit ever. For us, it was fun. We got drunk. I have to <laughs> say, we got fucking drunk. My mom was there. Oh fuck! Your First m- time I got drunk in front of my mom. Oh, was she like, disappointed? Well, no, she she was she was really happy. But for the podcast, not okay. For, I thought, yeah, you drunk yeah. son. Finally, you grew <laughs> up. <laughs> Let's see. Pauli, uh-huh. Oh, Mr. Luzhna. That's all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You like to be called Mr. Luzhna? Luzhna? I don't Luzhna. know. I don't know. Oh, sorry. I, I read it wrong. Uh, Luzhna, it was maybe... Dostal some reklame. While we're talking about that, uh, have there, tell me about your podcast because actually, I, who is the guy that's with you? Uh, Gabo Zivchak, Gabriel Zivchak is my, um, is my friend from like long time ago and then we met again 
in uh, at the university. He was a theater critic. Uh, useless profession, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the worst of the worst. But you can people. make or break careers, no? Uh, in Slovakia, you cannot do fucking shit. Uh, you cannot do shit. Nobody yeah. listens. It's not nothing. Like the little niche universe inside of the universe is like, no. But, and uh, he has a Frankie on his side. Frankie was his 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 friend. And we made it together. But he's a good stand-up comedian. He's really, like, professional in his words. Uh, he, his fucking words are the same as the words he put on the page when he writes them. It's insane. He just writes brilliant stand-up, learns it like a fucking monologue, and then go on stage and says it like a fucking monologue. It's the... It's hard work. It's really hard work not to fuck around. But you, I imp- just fuck you around. improvise, you improvise. I just fuck around. I don't have like one word written. I just have like my thoughts that, oh, this may be funny. <laughs> but, but that's it. That's really shitty preparation. Like, But it works for you. It works for me. Thank God. Because if it wouldn't, I don't think I could work like this. Uh, uh, in front no, not in front of the people made stuff i really like to make my material in front of the people and uh, like in the cooperation with them because you have the, like i have the story but i have to sell it to you exactly not some people mm-hmm. you as a person so my brain is in fucking overdrive i will check everything of you i will Every little uh, m- micro memes, I, I will fucking see it. And my brain has to work with you. So I will make you laugh. But it's fucking... It, it, it's amazing to do all of this stuff, like, in your bed, for but, example. But what do you do in the situation where you don't see them enjoying themselves? Because I, I would get nervous. Or where the jokes are not landing, what do you do? The jokes are landing. Yeah. So you don't yeah. have that issue. F- fairly mm, to be to be dig fairly I don't have this issue. Mm-hmm. But uh, if I for example have you have to be honest. There's the there's the one thing that's uh the combination of podcast and comedy these circles meet in one spot and that it's you have to be authentic you have to be honest so there's the shit there's like no uh, way around nothing like that. you have to be honest so you have learned the joke and you see like 20 people are not enjoying like oh what you 20 are not enjoying what, get what? the fuck out of here fucking christian fans <laughs> or what come on come on let's talk it's only talking It's only talking. Never hurt anybody. There were some questions from your Instagram fans. I have few. You do? Some I have. So what is your favorite pickup line? Mm, I don't have any. There is, there is no. Did you, did you have to pick up girls or did girls start coming up to you? The second variant. Second option. Yeah. So, so that's reason enough to be famous, right? No. It was, I was on always the, like the brooding non-drinking, everybody-hating guy in the corner with old trench coat and dreadlocks and fucking... You had dreadlocks? Yes, of course. I had dreadlocks. Like uh, how did you maintain them? Like dreadlocks? Like you didn't maintain them? Yeah, but th- if you don't, don't they smell? Mm, no. Right. Not really. I was always scared of them. No, 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 no. It's the best fucking hairstyle ever. It's the best. You can have things on it. While you I are had like the wooden stuff and the, the silver circles. What wooden stuff? Like, like uh, balls. Wooden like balls. your hair was like Croxy that you were putting <laughs> shit no, no, on. No, it. I had like braids and shit. Yeah. I had like the full fucking dreads. I need to see a picture. And then I had like dreads like uh, from Red Dwarf, Lister. <laughs> just on the back of the head. And my nickname was uh, Red. Redneck? Uh, no, Red. Uh, Potkan. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I remember a viral video that I was watching about that. Ah no, Yemso, Teras Varim, Spatkanyo. Have you seen that video? Uh-uh. 
Uh, don't forget that Gabo is Murdy Cholovic. Who is Gabo? Gabo is Murdy Cholovic. Gabriel Zivček, the co-host oh, of, okay. of Lu Zivček. One of the podcasts I have. The next question is, what makes you cringe? In last, in last, in last few months, years, fucking white ladies. <laughs> Fuck, yes, I'm going to say it aloud. <laughs> say fucking it. white ladies. Pray it, pray it. Fucking, my wife is beginning to fucking going Karen sometimes. I, you are talking about oh, Karen. Oh, oh God. My oh, mom, God. my mom, my mom can be full fucking Karen sometimes. She speaks to a manager. Yeah. And oh, she's God. like, a, she has a short red slash violet uh, hairdo. Yeah, man. It's like, yeah. White ladies. In the recent times, the most fucking ridiculous rages I had. Was white ladies. Like, look at this fucking bitch. Can you, can you give me an example of a story with, a, with one of these cool ladies? My mom, for example. My mom. So what did she do? My mom can go to the restaurant. I am paying for the lunch. I am paying for fucking everything. I bring her with my car. I, I take her. I, I bring the chair. And they're uh, they like the best pizzeria. doesn't matter. And the waiter will come, and she is like, do you have fernet? It's like type of drink. And he goes like, no, we don't have fernet. And my mom is like, hmm. Triggered as fuck. As long as she has breath in her lungs. She will go, hmm, and fucking grilling the guy. It's insane. It's insane. Jesus Christ, I you thought will, that was not possible achieve, here in Slovakia. You will achieve nothing. Like, you will achieve nothing. And you are sitting there he, just... He, he will not invent the fucking drink for you there. So Do you have Fernet? <laughs> no. So, okay, I will have this. It's a normal thing. Do you have Fernet? No. Uh, mm. um, And what does she get in the end? Mm-hmm. Fucking red wine. <laughs> But do you know, there's there's like, fuck, there's a whole two minutes. Two minutes of guy fucking shitting himself. For what reason? For no reason. He's not going to change what's there. No. And stuff like this makes me fucking furious. Like zero to hundred in, in seconds. Like I can be, you are the best person in the world to doslova mm. si robíš pičo za mne <laughs> za sekundu in, in fucking seconds because few of these for example not saying thank you and please yeah is the big thing i was always raised to say please and thank you at the in the beginning of the sentences my wife for example uh, doesn't say please and thank you she says by tone of her voice How do you do that? I will say, prosím ťa, podáš mi poharík? No. My wife will say, podáš mi poharík? So the please, it's some kind of there, but it's not said. That's like modern day slavery. Yeah, and she says it's enough. I don't think it's enough. So we have like arguments like in front of people. Is she from Like Bratislav? you didn't fucking say thank you to the taxi driver. <laughs> I said in good day. Yeah, but you didn't say thank you, good day. Do I have to say thank you? Yes, yes, thank you. From zero to hundred. Like literally, like in the taxi, I was the most in love person in my life. Fuck. But seconds, they're like, Fuck! So I could kill. This is a good topic about triggers. So this is one thing that triggers you. What is something else that makes you go to a hundred? No, 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 no. What is it? It's your turn. That makes me go to a hundred? Oh, Jesus. Uh, I have no idea. Suddenly. Come on, you have to have like this trigger. This is the trigger? Mm, yes. It's called trigger? Yes, yes, trigger. I like it because I never thought I will have a trigger. But yeah, this is a trigger for me. Now I know. Fucking white ladies. No, and you know what my trigger is? When people are on the phone speaking too loudly. I can maybe... Frank, I can do that. Uznai, maybe I can be a trigger. You are yelling on the phone? Nobody call him. I'm yelling always. That's the thing with me. I'm always yelling because it's funny. 
But I I hate when people are going with their phone and FaceTiming in the street. That is funny, but it's funny because they are FaceTiming, so you can abuse it. As fuck, I I have few like uh, I don't know interactions with humans on the street. They they then they went uh, this FaceTime and like no 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 no. I just like went. I went. They saw you. No 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 no. The girl okay. was fata- FaceTiming with mm-hmm. her bae or fucking her girl. And she went through the street. And I went uh, like opposite of her. And when I saw what she's doing, I just fucking turned around and went behind her and made like... Blah, 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 blah. Make fucking... Because... And she never uh, understand because I saw the girl in the phone going weird and then like uh, there is something going behind you. And I turned around and I just went. And the girl was like, oh, no, 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 that, oh, that is that? nothing behind me. And it was so fucking funny. And I do it uh, and, and I did it a few times because if you are in the public making yourself fucking vulnerable to the joke, there will be someone to take that opportunity. Like, if you meet a hundred people on the fucking road wall, uh, like, there's a chance, four of them, you fucking make a joke. Mm-hmm. It's, gotcha. it's, it, it, it is how it is. And fucking thank God for it. Because otherwise there will be really boring society. What do you think is the the one thing that was the craziest for you that you did in public? I got the hand job once. What? But Where? No, in public in park. When you were a teenager. Yeah, yeah. Okay, But not as an as a grown man. I got the blow job <laughs> once. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you have to do blowjobs on the fucking public places. Like where? What? It What are a, the best places for It was a, a museum of Slovak <laughs> abrasion. <laughs> <laughs> fucking yeah. Yes, <coughs> it was. In Banska Bistrica? Yes, of, yeah. That's horrible. No, it's beautiful. I got a blowjob there. What, what you got? Nothing. Yeah, sure. nothing. Fucking less than education. So what did you do when the lady came like, what are you guys doing? Shut up, cock blocker. But we were outside in the bushes. Like, so I'm good. good. So it wasn't in public. It, it was, was in the bushes. It was public bushes. It's a park <laughs> in the fucking middle of Oh, Bistrica. man. That is so crazy. I am. Uh, yeah, I would imagine that I'm. Come on, it's your turn. This podcast is not about me. Come on, it's your turn to fucking answer. Every question you ask fucking me, I have you are answer. asking him as well. And I will fucking pour you because... Yeah, thank you. So the, oof, the, the craziest thing... Uh, but the thing is that it's an easy question because I have no shame. I will do whatever. Yeah, well, everybody says they have no shame. And no, but you fucking I... found out you have, you have so plenty of shame. You are living in a building? Yes. Yes, that's true. You have so much shame. But I can tell you that I have no shame, like, running around with my pee out. Is it because you have a good pee No, definitely not. I, I suffer from a... You probably heard of this disease before called micropenis. Is it disease? It's not disease. It cannot the, be disease. At least I like to think so. No, no, no. <laughs> When you are born with it, it's not a disease. Disease is something you fucking catch later. Or, you know. Yeah, so you know. It's no disease. Thank you. Thank it's, you for... It's, <laughs> It's like this fucking, do you know how women do this fucking fat Mm-mm. accepting shit? Mm-hmm. And uh, my body is beautiful, this uh, self-love club. Yeah. And then the fucking same fucking woman that is like this, this. Me too. This, this I like. I like this because this I hashtag self-love club. I fucking love this. Second video. Have you seen a man with a small dick? It's incredible. It's so funny. Like really bitch? Really bitch? Is this is this is 
why do you think people paid so much attention to that stuff? Like I, I wouldn't care. I don't know. I don't like being naked in front of. Like not even my wife. I like. Uh, you turn the lights off. No, 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 no. It's okay, but it's not something I like. I can do stuff to her, and I, I'm really good at the particular mm -hmm. shit. But like, I'm, I'm sure she's know. gonna love this conversation when she's like, yeah, "I'm good at this shit." <laughs> no, 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 I'm good. We have a really good percentage of, like, uh, who's coming. Mm -hmm. We Really good. Like, properly really good. Mm -hmm. Half by half. But... That's good. Yeah, that's really good. But... For example, just, like, to... If... For example, there is always this scenario. Your wife has her lady friends over, and some of the lady friends... Like, stumble into the bathroom as you are... Uh, Changing. Showering. Oh. And the lady friends are... Oh, sorry, we didn't see. They saw. And you are naked, and some guys are like, yes, I like that. Me, for example, no fucking... No. Has, uh, has that happened to you? Is that personal uh, experience? I had few of... Like, yes. It, few people see my pee-pee. Mm. But... Loads of people, <laughs> actually. A few people. Yeah, loads. I wasn't uh, like an extra thing. Like we had fucking showers together uh -huh. since. Yeah, it's okay. But uh, dude, listen. I hate like being brown and living in in Slovakia and going to the I, urinals. I can understand this. <laughs> uh, like no, but not it because has to of be what. Terrible, boy. Not because of what you think, but going to the urinals. Every single guy that was ever standing next to me at the urinals. Was checking my pee pee out. It doesn't matter if you are white or brown. They do it to you too. Yeah. And what do you do? Like a nice what? pee pee or? I go to the stall. Uh -huh. I usually go to the stall because few times in my life actually happens that I was taking a piece, and the guy, s like, stood next to me. Mm -hmm. And said, can I have a selfie and made a selfie while I was pissing? Okay, that's so a good reason. I usually, even on the fucking gas stations, uh, I take the stall. I'm always uncomfortable because they also, there's like a row of empty urinals and they gotta be at the one next to me. This thing, for example, for me changed this whole fucking penis thing. Mm -hmm. Also changed when I had... Like uh, Arthur, like I had the son, I felt like my penis has accomplished something, and fuck you all. And uh, before I hadn't this fuck you all thing because I was like, yeah, I fucked the really nice girls, mm -hmm. but you didn't know. And but no, I always take a stall for for years now because the uh, fucking pissoir thing, you are really vulnerable to taking photos pictures and conversations like even the conversation like you're you're, you're this funny guy it happens every time mm. on every guy station i am there is some fucking guy telling you oh you're this uh, tell me joke tell me joke tell me joke tell me joke come on come on you're this fun guy fun guy i see you they are come drunk on. they are drunk they are fucking slovak people and they think they know you And you are making jokes. Mm -hmm. It's really understandable why the fucking simpleton, 90 AQ, mm -hmm. fucking lorry driver, mm -hmm. will go like, yeah, I see you. Make a joke. Make a joke. And he doesn't think about the, like, you are pissing. Now, it doesn't matter to him. He, like, sees you. Oh, and there's nothing malevolent in it. It's like it's the thing. But you cannot piss. <laughs> and the, the, the stuff, like, yeah, he was make a joke. He will piss. Like, come on, come Let on. Let me make a joke. He will piss. He will clean his hand. He will go away. He will still be there. Like, oh, fuck. I, I couldn't make a joke. I couldn't fucking make a joke. I'm paid for this. <laughs> uh, but it, it, that, yeah, that's not the place to make it. Like, I, I wouldn't want to be making a joke while I'm peeing. Yes, that's the stuff. That's the stuff. But people don't actually care. There's 
at least you're not the first one who mentions this same issue that people just come up to them and think that you are their best friend the best the best the best It's unbelievable. because they know you they know you but you don't know them that's the that's the funny thing but i i will give them the i, I i'm not one of these guys they will say you listen to fucking what we have like million hours of mm-hmm. fucking podcast of me just talking the same shit all over again and you don't know me no you know me you fucking know me from a to you're my best friend y- yeah but i i am for example like on the gas stations i am in the fucking mi- little van with five other comedians going crisscross Czech Republic and Slovakia and sleeping in hotels and shit. And I'm on the gas station just in my hoodie, like buying water, coffee and fucking snakes. And I'm high as fuck usually because like, is there... On life, high on life. There is six hours of road. Yeah, I will take an edible. Come on. It's it's the road life. But uh, I... I can take a picture, I can exchange really kind words, but like when I am pissing, like there's a little moment for myself yeah, you, and I want to be in a stall. You guys now know that when he's pissing, he's off limits. I'm Back. going to piss again. Enjoy. So while you're pissing, I'm going to read the comments. This live thing is really, I like it. Yeah, I you should. Like Guys, if you have any questions, now is the time to ask them. Frankie, we will have more live things in our studio as well. There you go, Frankie. Sorry for giving you more work. I hope he pays you. Really? Ah, so if there's any questions, now is the time to ask, guys. While we're waiting for Lugina to come. So actually, after we we have this podcast, we should be finishing soon. Uh, he's going to be eating some of the food that I prepared. Um, so we'll have a separate. It's not going to be live. like uh, Or maybe. We will see. But there will be something else coming after. <laughs> no. <laughs> he didn't eat my food yet. Because it's still cooking. But uh, he will eat it soon. So again. If there are any questions. For Kubo. Now it's the time to make them. Now that he went to the toilet, it's good to probably ask him now. Um, uh-huh. Yeah, sorry, uh, Teresa. We started uh, a bit earlier because uh, he does have a baby, so I don't want him to stay here that long. And we need to make sure that he eats. Oh, look at George, our newest moderator. <laughs> no, don't ask on Instagram because I'm not checking um, Instagram. So the best is to ask me here while he's here. And I guess while we're waiting for him, guys, remember that I opened a new TikTok channel and it's exploding. So go follow me on TikTok, Instagram as well, at something Ponglitsky. You're back. It was getting you have, awkward. You have TikTok? TikTok? I have TikTok, yes. Oh. It's, it, it, my video exploded. I have like 17 million views. No, not really. But like one of my videos with Dushan... Seventeen really million? No, no, I'm just kidding. It's seventeen thousand. Oh. I just wanted to sound cool in front of you, but I failed. How much? Seventeen thousand is nothing. I know. Do you? Do you read the numbers? Do you Not actually? Really. Sometimes. And you do it by yourself. There's like. A There is no one in this channel. No, it's just me. It's you. It's just me. So we have to do it. Yeah. So there's like nice loop. <laughs> there's a nice loop because you normally you you you. I prefer if you say it like, I don't watch the numbers. It's it's nothing to me because I believe in my content and I believe in the conversations I have with the people I have in the fucking cross of the space and time and i think it's it was the right thing to do but yeah but for me it's different because you know without certain numbers people won't talk to you and i think it do you think so yes yes for sure mm. i've i've in slovakia 
in like fucking like 10 people a country. Uh, yeah, I have had, let's say, you are the 13th person on the podcast, I believe. What a, what a number, 13th. Disaster. Uh, no, But I, I was like, like uh, I was uh, in seconds, I replied. You did. And that's why I was ex- extremely surprised. But okay, not so surprised. Thank you. Because actually most people are nice, but you know, when you have low <coughs> numbers, it, it's hard to get people to come to a podcast. I never check numbers. Matus Valo, for example. Listen, I wrote when it was election last time, I voted for Matus Valo and they replied to well. everything. And now that I wrote them, I wrote them on LinkedIn. We are connected on LinkedIn. I wrote him on Instagram everywhere and he or his team doesn't reply to me about coming here. The immigrant vote is very important. And they do, are ignoring do, it. Do you want a, like a normal number? To call him? Hmm? You want to call him? No, no, I can give you a normal number. Like no. a phone number, not internet number. But then he will be like, who the fuck is this? If I called you... If What, I'm does like, he have yeah. fucking Alzheimer's? He <laughs> doesn't remember? <laughs> I, <laughs> What, that is stupid? <laughs> no, no, no. But This I is mean. such a small country. Yeah. You always have to bear in mind, like, I do this all the time. Mm. All the time, I think, like, or someone tells me, like, you are on the top, or you are, mm. you are on the top of fucking shit. Of, uh, mm. But really, like, being, for example, Gabo has a very good joke on this one. Being the most known comedian in Slovakia, you have fucking less fans than good plumber in Brooklyn. True. It's but and do you see plumbers in Brooklyn like going fucking? Mm, 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 I have a TikTok. No. Ma- maybe now, bro. No. Maybe now. Fuck them then. <laughs> <laughs> I just like. Well, I don't know, man. Where? We're actually, Jakub, there's a special thing that I want to do with you. Uh, unfor- the chili I brought you? No. Yeah, yeah, no, I, no, no, I will no, no, no. not eat no, no, no. the chili. <laughs> no, I especially, I had it fucking for a year in my fridge. Not the chili, It's, not the chili. No, no, uh, I, I had like, uh, I brought him a present, the chili. Yes, here. And uh, uh, it's from my friends. They made it. It's like the, the best fucking organic thing you can have. It I smells delicious. I fucking one little molecule of it. And I went like, no, for a year, for a year. Then I tried it the second one. I said, no, 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 no. And I waited so long for someone to fucking, because Dude, none of my friends are suicidal. When I was writing you, I was like, hey, can you handle a little spice? And you're like, yes, no, I, I, can dr- I, I can eat spicy. No I problem. Said, I said, no. I said, no. Really? I cannot eat spicy. Okay, so. I had two operations of my. Uh, Jalo doc? No, no, no. Uh, the colon. Uh, really? Yeah. Okay, so then I didn't make you anything spicy. Thank you very much. Yeah. And no, no, I made no, no, you no. some delicious stuff, though, that you will that eat. That was the big reason I didn't drink for f- two, for first fucking 30 years of my life. I had, like, stage four hemorrhoids. Mm-hmm. And, like, the big portion of my large intestine oh, uh, had to be removed. And then they fucked up the operation. And I went home and I feel like the pain. Mm-hmm. So I went to the bathtub and pour myself uh, hot water and fall asleep. And my golf girlfriend then, mm-hmm. wife now, found me <laughs> like like horror, like in a fucking white bot- bathtub filled with blood. It was bloody water. Yeah, that's because horrible. Yeah, and yeah, there was like uh, this uh, ambulance calling and uh, all this rest of stuff. But they had to do the surgery second time because fucking Slovak. Is that public knowledge or are you telling it for the first time? I don't think it's public knowledge. Also, oh, you, now you guys know, but look. But the- uh, it's a story. I tell the story about like how brave my wife is because it, it's in... It's incredible. You find your boyfriend in the bathtub of fucking blood. You call ambulance. The ambulance came. They took me. And we have uh, roommates. So she stayed up for a few hours cleaning the blood. So they didn't notice. And then she went to the hospital to see 
if my surgery has ended and what's happening with me if I'm alive and stuff. She the real MVP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ilka is, is one of the best. Ilka, kto to nepozeráš, tak reálne proste kopačka na hrudník okamžite. How did you meet? Uh, she was my uh, manager. Uh, like she studied the theater management mm-hmm. and uh, one of her assignment was to manage my show <laughs> that we had. <laughs> little did she know. Yeah, and little yeah, and she had boyfriend, serious and stuff. What? Did you yeah. ruin a serious relationship? Yes, I had to take care of him. <laughs> How? I just was better. It was uh, there's no competition. Well, I can't imagine that yeah, if she It was no, 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 the guy was in Prague and he was like doing his thing and uh, I don't know. I just like fell in love with her and said to myself like I'm going to hunt this girl down mm. with no fucking rapey malevolent intent nothing it was like yes uh, I, 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 and it took me like it took us half a year and she finally like broke up with him mm. and the same same evening Uh, we are celebrating the, <laughs> the start of our relationship. So it started much before that. That's the thing. How did you... Uh, I'm struggling with that point in my life that uh, I would like to have kids, but, you know, it's easy to make them, but I also don't want to end up divorced and with kids somewhere else. So how do you know that that person is the person for you to make children with? You never know. Because, yeah. for example, like, I had lots of girlfriends... And every single last one of them was the most serious one. I was always fucking above ears in love. Mm. I was always the most fucking in love person. So you'll never know. But uh, for me and Ilka, we didn't try to make a kid. It was just so our life is so perfect we were 10 years together as a couple oh, 10 years well, i didn't know that then we got married and uh, after the marriage fucking three years we have a baby so it's a like the the gradient is really mm, traditional but we didn't plan for any of it Like, for example, me, you can fucking trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't plan for fucking any of it. I just, like, surrendered to the... How, how did you find out that you were gonna be a father? And what was your reaction inside? I was happy. Uh, she, she texted me. Mm. And I was happy because I was working with kids a long time. And, like, I really... I don't like to say I'm good with kids, mm-hmm. but I'm good with kids, but I'm good with kids from the professional stand of view. Like I make theater for kids for years. So Your headphones, you forgot about your headphones. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Can, do I have? No, no, you don't okay. have to. So uh, I'm really good with, with kids uh, from the professional stand point of view that I was trained to be good with kids and to understand them. So it's really cute for me when someone says, like, you are so natural with kids. Like, I'm not natural. I, I had to learn all of this stuff. They're like little batteries because it's a lot of effort sometimes to get them going. But the energy that you get from kids once you are connecting is it's more something like, else. Um, it's more biochemicals. It's more uh, yeah. endorphin. Of adrenaline uh, is like um, all, all all of these biochemicals in your brain there your brain is literally little machine built to fucking do this so every children uh, i met and every child i made uh before arthur my little boy mm. uh it was like hey, okay i get it you're beautiful but but, but after arthur Every fucking child gives me the response. It's like the best high ever. Like you get so much dopamine uh, uh, from interacting with children. Mm. It's like you you can have like four pills of ecstasy maybe. But I will tell you one thing that that is the risky part, right? Because I 
As I told you, I work with... Oh, I have to get my own. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you ever had this situation <coughs> happen in your life, but it affected me very deeply. And it's when a child confessed to me that they had some negative thoughts about their health, right? And because they tell you that things are not going okay. And you feel crushed because you want to help them or they tell you that their parents abuse them or, or do these kind of things. And there's nothing you can do, really. And... If you hit the empathetic nerve, there is nothing that the child can do either. So, imagine that. There's like a, there's a second, second fucking step. Like, if I, as an adult, can do fucking shit, uh, this little child can do <laughs> less than that. So... Yeah, it, it makes you think, right? It happened a few times, for example, oh, me. Cheers. Sorry. We already fucking no, cheered. That's all. Do you have that's a pipe? Guatemala, yes. You said you have a pipe? Yeah. Fucking can't remember. We are still live? Uh-huh. This, can we make the longest podcast? Yeah, we can. Nice. When do you have to go? Mm, like one, yeah, half an hour ago. I go, yeah. But, <laughs> But you okay. didn't eat yet. It's okay. So oh. ha- do you want to make the longest podcast or no? Yes. Yes, And of course. So listen, this is what's going to happen. Bring the pipe. I'm going to check the fucking... And we're going to start eating. No, no. I cannot eat after so much. Oh, I don't know. You have to eat. Yeah, I, I know I one have to eat. One. One so small one. So because I have to be polite. But yeah. after so much alcohol, I don't... I What don't. alcohol? No. You go fetch me the pipe. Yeah. And I will do the commentary section. Okay. And prepare your food too? No. We will wait. We will wait. Yeah, we and come on, man. I feel really embarrassed because I, I don't, don't be embarrassed. So, my blood is boiling just by hearing this. Haha. <laughs> Why? Why, Richie? It's because... Why? Uh, Why the fuck? Who, who are you, Richie? No, no. They were talking about the sound your mother makes. Mm. Oh, okay, ah. okay, okay, yeah. Richie, happen, Richie. Sorry, Richie. Ten points, Biflomer. To Gryffindor. Dobre. <laughs> Hello, guys. Fuck it, you can do much better than this. Kuboy, you can do much better. Did he eat your food yet? No, but I saw all the fucking Insta stories. He's gonna take it. Teresa Tesarikova. Hello there. I'm finally here for a moment. Oh, thank you very much. This is the pipe. Oh, bullshit. I'm finally here for a moment. Ask him that question on IG, Michal Varga. I had to eat one meal for the rest of your life. Oh, who te vyberne? If you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life. I would probably eat lomo saltado. It's a Peruvian dish. Have you been to Casa Don't Inca? Don't No, I haven't been What fucking to Mezcal. Fu- What? Have you been to Mezcal? Yes. I'm fucking... I, why not? Because... Because my fucking schedule... I am, um, you know... I should have invited you to a podcast there. Yo. But what I made you today is better. And we should But go together there. Yeah. So you, we, you we'll be, plan it with Dushko. You will be good plug. Yes, you for sure. good fucking plug Not the there. kind of butt plug, but... No, like plug. Like, yeah. this is my friend, and he knows what's up, so mm-hmm. you will not so fuck you, me. You better wash your hands. <laughs> you better wash your hands. <laughs> It's like... This is the basic fucking East European shit. I will bring my guy and you better not fuck me up, okay? So he, he will know. notice. He know. Yeah. It's the shit. We're probably related with the owner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. so told me through the fucking dish. Lomo saltado. Lomo so. saltado. 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 Originates from the word Sol- jump. Salted. No, jump. Saltar is to jump oh, in Spanish. Oh, saltar. Mm-hmm. All right. It's because uh, Peru had a lot of Asian influence, so stir fry is the origin of this dish. And I made stir an stir fry story. fucking what beef? Yes, beef is an ingredient, but you also have tomatoes, onion, French fries. We are Imagine. going to smoke only CBD. You yes, have to only yes. CBD. C- only CBD. I don't do drugs. I'm scared of them. Yeah, yeah. CBD I, is for health. I get really paranoid. I that's why I don't do drugs because I get paranoia. Is a huge thing. And I know why. You know why? Because I like to be in control. And losing control is the scariest thing for me. I love paranoia. Really? Yep. How do you deal with it? Tell us your secret. Mm. 
I'm I'm scared to death. Overcome. It's it's the best. It's the best. Paranoia is there to fucking make it better. It's it's like it's like evolution. Y- yes. Yes, it's a, you, stress, uh, it's a stress factor. Are you Darwin? It's a it's a stress factor. Mm-hmm. It's a stress factor. Oh, you need that. So, it will will it make you better? Yes, it will. It will it make you better? Uh, not fighting it? No, it won't. Will you make better fucking fighting the? Yes, of course. I love anxiety. Mm-hmm. I really love to get. Uh, I, fucking i really love to get really stoned mm-hmm. and think about fucking all the things i have not done and what i i, I love it i would pass out no be, i love it because you have to overcome it and what did that guy say well which one the last one marek uh tento človek je momentálne na všetkých typoch drog lmao should we answer that or just ignore it mám v sebe alkohol a CBD marihuanu, ktorú reálne, že som si doniesol taxikom, lebo môžem, lebo je to legálne. Ale inak, ani veľmi nie, kámo. Musím sa priznať. A má, akože, mám, mal som, že teraz možnosti v poslednej dobe znova ísť na takéto, že hrybový tri, na mushroom tri, bo LSD Videl tri. som na Instagramu. And, yo, of course, yeah. Today, I was today in a fucking forest and if I, if I wanted, i could pick like fucking five kilos, mm-hmm. five kilos of uh, psychedelic mushrooms. So this is when you enjoy that people don't know mushrooms because you take whatever you want. Yeah, but I don't do mushrooms. I've said that to you, brother, camarade, that I don't do any drugs very much. I don't do it anymore because... I don't do it anymore because uh, Never tried. I don't know how they taste. No, it's very good. It's is very it? nice. Yeah, yeah. But it's uh, this thing of occupation. Proste je to tu tá vec záväzkov. Mm. I cannot do drugs uh, if I have fucking baby at home and fucking uh, food to eat and food to bring home. Uh, it's, it's too much stuff. How do you, Jakub? In, how... in some point yeah. of your life you became so adult. V niektorom bode tvojho života prídeš na toľko dospelý. So you just simply abandon the shit. Doslova opustíš tieto veci. Oh, the camera died. What? Which one? The main one. But we can switch to the side one. Look at that. Technology. Oh, fucking. Second camera. Mm. Hello there, people. So, this is, this is what I'm telling you, boy. Jak sa volal? Boy. Marek. Marek. Boy, Marek. And uh, not, not. Chápem. I can understand where this comment is coming from. But... It's not like this because uh, I have other arrangements in life. It's all you. All right. I'm, I'm good. I don't like CBD. Really? Yeah. It's anti-inflammatory. You know what? I used to use it because I'm a diabetic. So I was, I was really vibing with your comment about that. There the is only th- one thing I know about you, that you're diabetic. Is really? One. Yeah. Is that what everybody knows? That my diabetes? Maybe. At least I'm known for something useless. But when you... There's a question there. What is your response on Kiko's commentary from Pharma? Actually, I can show you what he said. Kiko? I can show you what he said. Because I didn't uh, know I have a beef with Kiko. Now you to do. Say Here. This is the video. So he's listening to the video now where... Kiko commenting and we actually have 70 listeners he's listening guys we're gonna do some ASMR while we wait for him uh, says, I don't know that he is so. Can I have a normal cigarette? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. This is your home for today. Mm-hmm. So you didn't see this before? No. <laughs> There. 
No, it's your microphone, right? Where are you putting it? You have a microphone there. <laughs> to the <laughs> fucking camera. Ah. Oh, you mean to... Uh, they know, they know. It's almost done. So, uh, George, I think you started trouble. You started beef. Uh, is more? Yeah. Right? Uh, nobody cares. Do you? I hate that guy. Uh, First episode, he was saying... I don't hate, I don't hate him. <laughs> it's... I can understand him. It's, it's like a normal thing. Like, I have this saying for this kind of people. Mm-hmm. Their first day in the business. This is mm-hmm. the, 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 the most and foremost important thing. Like, the guy yesterday was having a normal job. No, no, no. S- s- and suddenly he went on this fucking reality mm-hmm. TV and he got out. And suddenly he has like hundred thousand people on Instagram and professional guys making fucking fun of him impeccably so he cannot say like he might be intoxic intoxicated with attention. Yeah, and you grow numb to this shit after years. That's uh thing I I really like about it. Like for me it's a job. I can make fun of fucking everybody. If, if if it's not if you are not make funable, I will make it sure I will make fun even in the like a time frame. Mm-hmm. So for me it's and I am long time in a big business. So I don't take things personally and the people like this is the first day He is literally first day mm-hmm. in uh, his new work of uh, fucking Be- entertainment. People recognize yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Susanna's asking, to what extent do you understand Slova? Fiha, ja ne razumijem nič. Určite. Nije študoval sam Slovenčina, nije robil sam nič. Pretože ne potrebujem Slovenčina. Yeah, but sometimes you have... Srandu jem, určite. A vieš čo, ja pracoval som 5 rokov v Starbucks, kaviarne, iba chcem učiť Slovenčinu. Like uh, the, the, the main one, in, yeah. in the, the only one we had? No, well, I worked there for f- the few only years one. in Alpark. Bratislava had only one Starbucks. And then they had Central, I went there. Then body, oh, I want Central. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, you got me there at Central. Just I forgot about Central. It was a free toilet. It was a free toilet Starbucks. Yeah. Like in Prague on the main square, there's a free toilet fucking Starbucks. Look, we go to the next part of the podcast after you have your drink where you will find a phrase that you like and you will teach it to the audience that's learning English um, without giving the definition. You just using examples. So choose the one that you like. You like that one? Okay. So teach it without using the definition. So you give examples of when you like what teach it. Can I can I read it? No. Oh. You cannot read it. You have to teach it. You will have your first job in fucking commercial, all right? You will get paid five thousand euros. Oh, I want to uh, spend it all. No? Okay, first rule. Like forget he's here. Mm-hmm. Like forget total this this space is fucking blank. No no just no okay, no no I'm gone. You will get your first commercial fucking I don't know acting job. You will get paid five thousand euro. Save Piche Uh Put away two thousand to the fucking If you are not like me, to some trust fund that will uh, enhance and increase your investment. But if you are like me, just fucking of the 5,000, took 2,000 away from the cash machine and put it in uh, some place in your apartment. All right? So, save for a rainy day. Perfect. It's like it was a perfect. That was perfect. 
I got to give you a fist bump for that Thank shit. Thank you very much. For that, shit. that was legendary. Now people did understand. Did you notice my wedding ring? I did. Oh. Fucking. Don't take it off. What does it say? I can hold it? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm holding it's the a, evolution. It's a replica. It's a... Oh, what yeah. the fuck? Guys, is is the replica scaled down wow. because the replica from the film? Maybe we can show. Yeah, of course. The replica from the oh, film the was too heavy. It was it was seven grams of gold uh, on the ring. That uh, can is, can that it is be usable, dude? Yeah, but this is my fucking this is my wedding ring. Is she a fan? Uh not really. She's a fan of me. Oh, that's enough. Yeah, of course. That's enough. Why would you not fucking uh, choose your like, I'm a, I'm on. a Zelda fan. I never get to fucking play that. Ah, oh, man. Never get to fucking play Zelda. Did you ever want to do a let's play? What? Mm. A Zelda let's play with me? I would like to, but you have to take care of all the yeah. fucking things. So you would come and play with me? Yes. Okay, so guys, we will have a let's play. You will <laughs> come to play with me. Yes, of course. But I do not like all this fucking technical shit that's around. So if I do everything, you will just show up, right? If the date is right, you know my schedule. Yeah. It's you fucking insane. I think you probably were sorry that you said yes to me this week because this week you have no time at all. Yeah, I was. That's the thing. I'm angry at home. Like, what the fuck did I do? This? <laughs> But it's what... It's what we do. It's what I do. Look at this huge compliment you just got from Susanna. This I was smoke, you already are She said this was exactly the style of my high school teacher. How you explain Jay. it? Yeah, yeah. No, wait, wait, in English. Yeah. Uh Mojesh Poslovensky. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was it's a whole generation fucking crippled by uh, Russian English teachers. How many likes do you think this TikTok of you explaining the word g- is going to get? I don't know. I uh, I don't have TikTok. I don't know what TikTok is. I am kind um, of uh, in the dark. So it's some kids looking at videos and they like them. Yeah, but I am in dark because it's mm, Is it appropriate? Is it the TikTok like good thing to uh, probably none of the social media is. And I was No, reading, some of the social media. Which one? Is. Tell me. This I want to hear. Let me sit down properly. Instagram. Really? Instagram. How? Instagram. Why not? I, I, I don't know why not. I just want to hear why. It has pictures. It's all. Uh, <laughs> it has pictures. Have you seen my pictures at all? Yours? There's, there's one with you there. Yeah, but uh, I'm not interested in th- that kind of pictures. So what, what, what accounts Snakes. do you follow? I do only snakes and skate and... I thought you, you said steaks. No, no, no. You can see my Instagram. I it's already stalked it. Like you stalked it's me. It's just fucking... Can I tell you about my... My Instagram is mushrooms. <laughs> mushrooms and fucking ganja. This is ganja. Um, uh, wheat. CBD ganja. Yeah, CBD. Very much CBD. And fucking stones. Really, you're into minerals? Yes, of course. Wow. I am from Banska Stjernica. Do you know what Banska means? No. You fucking lunatic! Yes. Do you know what Banska Bistrica, Banska Stjernica? No, 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 no. Banska means mining. Oh, I Banja is mine. I thought that the only mining town was... Wait. Banska Stjernica! Yeah, I was there. Yeah, 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 yeah! I was there! Oh... <laughs> I got the little screen. I'm, I, I, I'm really sorry for my fucking co-host here. He got lost in his fucking... What? Yeah, I'm just gonna look into the camera and tell you guys that I was prepared. I was ready. But then this guy came. I got some hashish. Oh, you mean CBD hashish? CBD hashish, of course. CBD. CBD hashish. Everything is completely legal. Yes, of course. Nothing. <laughs> I am a father. I don't do illegal things. And how is that for you to have to be responsible and not do any drugs or even drink? I you like. can't even drink. No, I drink, but... Uh, not like, here, for sure. Yeah, no. But I love it because... Oh, that, that's how CBD smells? Yes, that's how CBD smells. Mm-hmm. I have drops, oh. actually. Mine? CBD drops. You I have? You have? Yeah, I have. 
and I'm I paying have, some random code yeah. for them, and you I have? I have not only CBD drops, but I have CBD plus CBG plus CBN. Okay. And what is the difference? Oh, that, that sounds uh, like math to me. Oh, no, no, God. it's okay. uh, different compounds, which are uh, much more like the difficult to get and stuff. And for example, like a CBN, a cannabinoid or cannabinidiol, mm -hmm. a CBN, uh, which this hashish. CBD. Is? CBD. Yes, uh, CBG. CBG. But there is a CBN compound mm -hmm. and CBN is strictly for fucking sleep. And I and I really from where, where the uh, whole the CBD craze started, I really hated the fucking fucks that had uh, like the advertisement. My CBD oil is good when you uh, wake up and you wanna be focused, and uh, it's good when you're going to sleep and take a few drops and you go to sleep. Of the same fucking shit? Are you insane? Stupid. Are you insane? Stupid. It's really stupid. But people fall for it. People which are stupid. I don't uh, have like stupid people in my audience and uh, like these cannabinoid things like 10,000 of them and CBN is really good for sleep. So I make like drops with CBN, CBG and CBD as a basic compound. So that were specially drops for going to sleep because no, I, 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 yeah. because I had trouble with sleep. So it was special for going to sleep not fucking all time remedy you know like do do you have a knee pain cbd do you have a, a head pain cbd go fuck yourself it's not working like that there's no uh, and it's only making like a they bad attribute name everything in the, in the weed industry but you know what i think about like uh, i fractured my coccyx and i tell people this story my doctor first thing he offered me was xanax i'm like why do i need that to <coughs> <Opiate. for> this <laughs> yeah but that's what they do that's what they give you and it's good but you have to know that's like i'm i'm really not offended by doctors giving the medications mm -hmm. i'm really offended by the patients not having the information about what they're eating mm -hmm. like if the doctor said to me like uh, eat this i am <laughs> In many cases, I'm already informed what he's going to give me because you actually could prescribe it. To yeah, him. <laughs> it's my it's my body, and like for example, I I am vaccinated from today. What fourth time? No, 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 flu. Oh, where did you find the flu? I went to the pharmacy like Niemame na Slovensko teraz, možno na buduće tijen. That's uh, what she told me. Uh, my, my wife g went to the doctor. And I took care of the baby, and then she went upstairs because our doctor is in our building. <laughs> That's completely. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she, and my wife went like, "Do you want to get yours?" And it's like, uh -huh. "Are you serious?" <laughs> and here I'm struggling, like going to four different doctors, and nobody has it. No. Can uh, Can you speak I to your doctor? I didn't even like get her card. It can you? Like, my wife sent me, and she was like, "Oh yeah, okay, put your shirt up." Can you speak to your doctor that I need? I got diabetes. And I have <laughs> like, the like my flat is abnormal because I have uh, the doctor in our building and I have also the preschool. <laughs> <laughs> so have you ever like listened to the fucking stories of ch uh, parents in Slovakia? <laughs> Not at all. Cannot having a preschool and driving fucking and hour. Just, like, go, just go downstairs, hour. son. Yeah, of course. You can I, send I them along go, too. I will go in my fucking pajamas and crocs. Which is amazing. How did you manage that? I, I think like everything in my life, I don't care. And the universe will just provide because it loves me because I am a stupid person. There's like the, the basic definition for every single of my, of my fucking venues, uh, uh, every single fucking thing I did in life. I did not care much and the universe just loved me. I think the universe didn't know you were putting out bad vibes. That's a thing. Am I putting bad vibes? No, no, you're not. I try not to. That's what the universe rewards, I think. 
I try not to because it's bad vibes are good when you are alone. I think so you should put off bad vibes when you are alone mm -hmm. and it's your fucking introspective and your thing. But when you are uh, around people, you shouldn't put up the bad vibes because they are yours to keep. They are yours to deal with. So, you know, but it's stupid. You know, like I, I have art education from fucking 14 years old. <laughs> I am not the most educated person to tell anything about life. But who is in your life? Just like you, fucking you. Um, really, really scientific people. I really enjoy like podcast, uh, Lex Friedman and, and this fucking... You, you listen to Lex Friedman? Every I love it. Everyone, uh, every single one of the episode. And Rogan as really? well and stuff. Yes, of course. And uh, BBC, wow. I like the animals, so I have all this uh, BBC Planet Earth podcast. What do you now. think of my cats? Oh, it's a genor it's ginormous cat. It's a really fucking big, fluffy animal. Do you love them, though? They are nice, right? Yes. But do you love all animals? It's, it's an animal. You have to love an animal because it's weaker than you. I didn't tell you the story of my cat. Go on. So I went to China a few years ago. And I had this cat that was nine years old. <coughs> His name was Killy. He hated everybody. Kubo. Everybody. That's a proper cat. And, and women the most. That's a good cat. I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. Come on. <laughs> you are a male. It's a male cat. Fucking of the male. Yeah. Of course, if she hates the females, it's a good cat. It <laughs> takes care of you. It guards you. It's like a guarding angel of fucking... Bitches. Mm. And he was always right. Like when there was a inappropriate person and here, he, he would jump. Yeah, he he. Oh, that's he would jump to the face when there was a bad girl. He always knew. He always knew. But listen to this. That guy got sick. Has it ever happened? Yeah. Like I have never fucking think jump in my face and I'm handling snakes. He was defending me. Mm. But listen to this. I went to China and he got sick to the point of dying. They took him to the vet and they said he was dying in like. That day, he waited five days. Are those mine? Mine, oh. not. I don't know. Oh, yeah. He stuff. waited five days for me to get back from China. I walked into the apartment after. He just said, really, bye to me. And he died in my arms. I don't know how to describe that experience, but... As a comedian, I'm yeah, give it a comedian. I'm obligated yeah, yeah, yeah. to say like yeah. you couldn't get it more faster than <laughs> uh, like did he had had to wait fucking five days, Mr. Lazy? Uh, he had to because I hmm, and I was getting back from China, but animals, dude, that's no, I don't like C B D C B D it's only C B D. Oh, this will make me feel bad. <laughs> it will. Mm -hmm. So I'm a... Drug free kind of person, so because I get paranoid, not because I have any belief that it will be bad, but just paranoia. And For me, paranoid is good. Yeah, I, I don't For know me, how you manage it. Paranoid is that what you make better with fucking evading bear. We have a, a mi we have a milestone, Google, three thousand followers, subscribers. Where? There, on the clock there. Oh, you have a special clock yeah, for... Yeah, yeah. And it's like what, uh, YouTube? YouTube, Instagram, uh, and TikTok. I don't have YouTube channel, for example. I just don't you have, have the podcast channel, no? Yeah, I've got And so the second one. That's how But we do it. me, personally, I don't I don't have YouTube channel. You know what is Maybe I will make one. You sh why don't you? I don't know how. And it's not... Isn't that guy here still? I don't know what. What's his name? Ten. Frankie. Ten Frankie. No, he I can don't make want to bother you. Frankie with. Oh, no, Frankie, no, 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 make no, no, no. the YouTube he's, channel. He's though. too precious to me. He to will be doing me. society a favor, I would say. Uh, no, no, no. Maybe you, cooking channel. Don't you want me to go and teach you some recipes? Yes, but like, in a normal setting, not like fucking. For sure, not now because not no, now. Ain't, ain't nobody cooking now. But for sure, we need we need to do that. But what I'm concerned about is that there are no questions in the chat. So people, questions, come on. 
do people do you not care live lessons with kubalujna thank you very much thank you very much but i should not be teaching you any fucking le- live lessons at least not yet not ever because the live lessons is what you uh, will see in others there is no teaching but like you, you have to see the fucking couple breaking up on the bridge to see like oh yeah okay i will never do this because i will look like a fucking not gentleman or whatever you have to see it there is no point of saying it you have to see it in other people when you're you're a parent now and you have to raise a child how are you going to avoid like them being privileged they are so how how can you mitigate that i think so you can only learn them or teach them mm, teach sorry him, yeah. you you can only teach them the the basics i don't think you can teach them more and i know it from like oh, a, from my point of view like you the person is a person you can give it uh, a starting point and the uh, and the uh, the best of the views and the best of the education but the person is a person and it's made up by decisions and uh, situations that are uh, that the person is fucking not involved yeah but involved but uh, exposed mm-hmm. to so that is it probably shielding people from experience is not a good way to go right matter like which experience would you shield your kid from fucking fall skydiving no 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 i would go and i would fucking talk with the instructor which is going to take him tandem like okay yeah but how long are you doing this <laughs> just to be sure just to be sure i will not shield him but i will make sure the fucking situation is the most safe that can be that's going to be you or your wife uh i don't know there's the funny thing we are fucking drinking it like chai tea uh there's the thing i don't know cbd juice i i really don't know because all the stuff i'm i'm saying about my kid and stuff is just like boasting i think i will be this i think i will be that i think but uh, i literally think i will never know how will i react until i get to that situation but don't you have some lessons like i always think when i would be a parent that these are the things i want to do different than my parents don't yes you of course th- yeah you do yes of course and how do you combine those with your wife mm. Mostly I will say I will raise him. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have anything to say there. Hey, you <laughs> You were raised okay but come on I will raise him better. No no no. But yes. I don't know. I I simply have like a preference of how is a is a boy. So how a gentleman should act and I will fucking try him mercilessly mm. until he be like that but he cannot he maybe he will not no no one can know can know now but you have to teach boys how to behave but sometimes they don't yes and they're boys and ah. they're part of the homo sapiens mm. so you know they have uh, this shot of adrenaline at this time of the fucking year and they <laughs> come on every fucking male gets fucking crazy at springs mm. uh, and and it it peaks out in summer and ah uh, come on it's we are animals so you have to know exactly like with my snakes and uh, when they're molting and lizards skin. you have to know the biology and then you are like okay like puberty what is going to be different if you have a girl next We will maybe not have a second child because uh, we have a perfect first one. Mm-hmm. So why fucking bother? You never know. No, 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 
no, you you know. You can plan that. The second one will be fucking disaster. <laughs> yeah, will be. Oh no. I would I I would always be so afraid of raising a girl. I would be such a jealous father. I I wanted a girl. I wanted a girl. Really? Yeah, yeah. Because they love fathers uh much more. They wrapped them around the pinky is always the expression. Yeah, but they love fathers more than the fucking guy. That's why they that's the the birthplace of so many issues. Daddy issues. Uh, yeah, I have to Why are you Again, not you have peeing? To pee? peeing? Why are you not peeing? I don't know because I have a normal bladder. We have fucking like CBD juice? No, we we drank a liter of gin the uh, room. I have no idea what I'm is wrong with you. Pee. Enjoy. I'm going to pee. You wanted the longest podcast, so do you want to stop? No. Well, he doesn't want to stop. Uh so let's see Miloslav Bayunchik. Um Yeah, thank you. It's, it's been a great evening, I think. Uh I think most of you are quite surprised to to listen to Jakub in English, right? In his English is really good. I think he uses a lot of high-level expressions. He was even teaching you guys an expression that is quite advanced, I would say. So definitely his vocab is is quite good. Um if you guys think so. So now probably is the time to ask questions. If there's anything you want to know about Jakob, we made it to 3000 subscribers on the channel. So, thank you so much. Your support means the world. The more subscribers that we have, the easier it is for me to get guests here. Because people are still skeptical about the podcast. Uh, also, use the comment section to to let us know what we can do better. Because this podcast is by no means perfect. Um it's the third episode for me so I'm still learning. Uh so any feedback is always is always a good thing for us. Uh, again, if you have any questions now is the opportunity to ask them in English so that uh Jakob will be able to answer them. Santo. Still not hungry? Nie, ale ja już bym musiał iść domu, kamo. Cóż ty chlap mi przebogać. So he We'll have to go home soon, so probably it's a good time to end it, right? Nie, 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 pomyśl się. Hej, pomyśl się. When will I give you the food? To, potem pomyślmy. Hej? No, jest nie. Okay. So now it's your time to take over the podcast and ask questions that you want to know. What are you curious about? Ako sa dostaneš k tomu to? In English. How long oh, am sorry. I here? Uh, how? Do you end up like this? With this studio? Yeah. I was with bo- all the setup. With I, w- the, I was bored during the corona. I was saying before that I'm a foreigner, so my friends left. And nobody was in Bratislava. Oh. So I was like, what am I going to do? Like I the whole, to stream. whole of your clique just went? I, I don't have lifetime friends here, you know. I know friends for 10, 15 years. And like I've been to two weddings. That's how sad. So if anybody wants to invite me to their wedding. But long story short, they left so I needed to find a hobby. So streaming was a hobby, so I started getting cameras and microphone. And I kind of got into podcasting by with Papa pa Peter. And the first streaming was what? Like computer games? Yeah. No. I was playing no. Paper Mario. Oh. Yeah, but people liked Why? it. People liked it. People like fucking farting pandas. They're cute. I know they, they're cute. Aren't they? They get scared of the fart. Yeah, they're cute. How many times did you watch that video? Be honest. Like, oh, oh. That's the thing with me and internet. This is like the example I always give. Like when some fucking manager or some like in exec you are talking to and he's like, but did you get the views? It's like, like fucking farting panda get the views. One billion If you plus, want right? the views, go fucking film the farting panda. I am human. You know? That's the, that's the funny thing. Like, I always envy uh, the you. I always envy you and the, the guys like you and the girls like you. Uh, the YouTubers. Because y- you are like the whole package in one. 
I'm a YouTuber now. I don't know. Is this on <laughs> YouTube? It is. So you are a YouTuber. But what do you mean the whole package? You have to edit it. You have to know the the technology. You have to all this fucking. I don't know any of this shit. I just have Frankie to take care of all the side of the fucking operation. Frankie is important as fuck. Most important. So that's why do you think Frankie will want to play Zelda too with us? I don't know. I don't. Frankie maybe Frankie maybe is the guy who plays fucking Zelda. And there's a question for you there at the last one. Can you read it? Nailepshi stream via OPT Tipsy's CBD. Oh, no, you cannot get uh, Tipsy with CBD. Uh, Or can it was you? long time coming to Slovakia. It was a long time. There was no fucking podcast with no one smoking. Nothing. Then I started to smoke like this electronic shit mm-hmm. and electronic CBD. Did I have the one? The yeah. one? I never tried. Oh. Electronic? <laughs> yeah. That sounds scary. No, no. But there's no, no, no drugs no. there, right? No, there is there is absolutely no drugs. Because uh, I don't like drugs. Mm, so. Yes. That looks like a pencil. Yes, it is. It's so wha- what do I do with uh, it? Push the button and uh, take a puff. Yeah. Mm? Oh, hmm. that is really smooth. Yeah, that is really good. And what is it supposed uh, to do for me? It's 98%, 98% THC so oil. So normally I take drops. So how many drops is that in one? Just take a two talks. Two? Well, and that's the shit. Like there was uh, nothing like this in 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 the the Slovak YouTube and stuff. And then I started smoke this shit. And it's long Thank time you. coming that we had the podcast. I am really sorry that my studio cannot fucking brought in. Uh, then we can smoke. This is my fucking dream. This is the setup that he has here. It's my fucking dream that I can smoke and fucking. Uh, we have to make breaks in the Lusiv Chag and Nebes Pechny Obsah. And uh, I, I don't see... Uh, you You edit them out. You're not live. Yes, of course. You're not live. Not live. Why did I think that you were live? Mm, uh, It's kind of riskier to be live because anything can happen. We are live once a month and the other things are pre-recorded because... Come on, we are comedians. We are living on the edge of the knife, so few times you step fucking over so you have to yeah, edit the, the things out you have to watch out these things so there's another question yes ush samito kopiso spatnim pozeranim ah teresa tesarikova yes ush samito kopiso spatnim pozeranim xd okay yeah so we are at the 2 hour and 37 mark that's all come dobre So it's all come over. Kolko se mona edlshi. Who is the longest? Who is the longest fucking podcast you had? Oh, 245 I think. Let's do it. You want to do the longest 3 hour? Hmm? So I can actually make you a personal promise that I will never do a 3 hour podcast after <laughs> you. Will that make you happy? It, it was this too bad? No, I loved it. Did you feel 3 hours? No. And that's the thing with uh with a good conversation like I had 300 episodes now out and I can say like the most uh, common nominator in uh, all of the podcast is like when you have a good guest you finish like two half, two and a half, three maybe three hours in and you you instantly know you have like fucking six more hours like I can talk to six more hours because um, I don't know, chemicals in the brain or, uh, or who was your longest pheromone. who was your longest podcast? I don't know actually. Skrupa? Maybe Skrupa? Like Slovak DJ, mm-hmm. friend of mine. Really, really funny fucking guy. So we actually didn't get to the segment I want to practice with you. Come on. Can I make you laugh with my jokes? Yes, come on. But these jokes unfortunately cannot be online, so I will need to mute. What? <laughs> They cannot be online. What? For sure, yeah, yeah. No, so, they have to be in London. No, they Come on. Be at all. 
I did everything online. Can I, I tell you CBD. one? Can I, I tell you? I smoked CBD so, so. online in front of people. I'm gonna Do tell you, you know one. How many fucking fascistic people <laughs> in Slovakia? Too many. Could rip this off and make me? Come on, man. I really would wonder if you actually did drugs. CBD is nothing, but so let's see if I can make you laugh. I think I made you I made you laugh before so it counts. Yeah, it counts <laughs> in retrospect. <laughs> well, isn't everything about who's writing history? No, I don't know. Uh, uh, for me everything is about who's funny. Like my whole life every single of my decisions uh had to be and has to be always towards the the funny. And doesn't matter if it's like I have uh companies now. I don't know why, but I have companies. Mm-hmm. And every Success. single one of them is fucking named <laughs> funny. Like really, really you you design the company, then you click like send it to the state and like you can count to ten. And the lady from the state will call you like, is this the real name of your company? <laughs> 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 It happens to me fucking multiple times. Because I have, like, last name Poor of theater. my company is Shampoonove Slimaki Bodka SRO. Shampoo. <laughs> snails. Uh, snails. <laughs> Unlimited. Which, <laughs> I know. <laughs> but that, that I know could it raises be real, a question. But, but that could be real. They do It face real. They do <laughs> It is real. It's my company. It's real. It's not good. It could be real. You are making shampoos from Slimak? No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> so what do you do? <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Who, who, who are you to fucking care? But it's it's my company. It, this is the name. <laughs> and you can go fuck yourself. That's the that's the my mentality what's in it. <laughs> But don't you have to explain it somehow? Yeah? No. Or shampoos. I was, was really of offended. Supplies. I was really offended <laughs> that I had to explain to the lady the name of my company because why do you fuck care lady you are employee of the state you have like five euros Just per hour process it. No, i don't i don't know man. but yeah i have like i have really funny companies few of them <laughs> what is the second funniest of shampoo slim i guess humor about solutions it's like uh it's a it's a computer that may generate humor <laughs> and it has solutions which is funny because if you know me i have solutions to nothing <laughs> i cannot fucking unlock my iphone okay. without my wife so <laughs> i have no solutions That's if you, you come to. come to me with the fucking problem i will give you funny take on the problem but i have no solutions for no one in my life and yeah my first company is uh, humorbot solutions Unlimited uh, SRO. <laughs> Unlimited <laughs> SRO. Yeah. You needed that. There's a question there for you before you Chim- CBD. The question is, Kubo, toto je asi jedine miesto, kde ti môžem so srdcva... Pod- I don't want to read it anymore. Ty si anymore. Ja som. Za trest, for a punishment, no, you will no. smoke this CBD. Yeah. For a punishment, you will Neandertal. smoke this fucking CBD. And what is the point of CBD again? Relaxation? Yes, of course. Okay. 
<laughs> Dobre. Kubo, toto je asi jediné miesto, kde ti môžem zo srdca poďakovať a je šanca, že si to prečítaš. Zmenil si mi ako 15-ročnému človekovi život úplne v láske, v hodnotách a vo vnímaní všetkého si môj vzor. V prvom rade máš na oveľa lepšie vzory, ako som ja. Alebo túto kolega, čo zatres fajčí. Ale uh, ďaku- ja ti ďakujem, ale podľa mňa ešte raz a znova, aby som to zvýraznil, máš na oveľa lepšie vzory, ako som ja. Ja by som nemal byť vzor viac menej skoro v ničom v tvojom živote. Ale ak sa tu týka napríklad lásky, tak to je jediná vec, ktorú som ochotný akceptovať, lebo to je vec, ktorú hlásam stále. A stále sa mi to napriek všetkému, čo sa mi deje v mojom malom mizernom živote, ako keby vypláca. Tá láska, áno. Tá láska. Máš lúbiť úplne, že všetko, napríklad minimálne všetko, čo je nižšie ako ty. Pokiaľ sa niekedy pristihneš pri tom, že chceš zapučiť mravca, lebo vlastne si silnejší ako je ten mravec, tak vždy by si sa mal čeknúť, že what the fuck sa deje práve so mnou. Lebo obdivovať majestátnosť leva dokáže absolútne každý. Ale milovať mravca a veci, ktoré sú nižšie ako ty, potrebuje špeciálnu osobu, ktorá je správna vo svete. Oh, it wasn't fucking in English! Oh! Bohužiaľ. Anyone can admire a fucking mighty lion. But it takes a special love to admire those there beneath you. The, the spider and the ant and the fucking lizard. People forget. Yeah. You, you are always obligated to, to, to treat good, the lesser of you. Mm-hmm. That's, that, that's the fucking thing. I always say that how you treat people beneath you shows how you are as a person. There is no one like from Homo sapiens then it's beneath you. There is no one. There is no one. Every Homo sapiens is the fucking same. There is no one in the So why do people act? Race. So why they, do people act like they are above? Because it's easier than to to argue. Mm. Like when I say sam troglodyte fucking uh, prakokot povedal že očkovanie What against the covid prakokot mean prakokot like a fucking uh, white trash people uh, said like uh, uh, the anti covid vaccine is bullshit you can uh, inhumane them there's the thing like there's, there's a thing with both sides we are used to giving people and the groups and stuff names mm-hmm. so we can labels we call them in english yeah too. we can label them less humans and uh, so it gives us the upper hand to to fucking rule over them or have a op- higher opinion than them and which is, is not true it's not fucking true we are everybody is homo sapiens like every mushroom is the species it is So I actually want to get some knowledge from you because you've been doing this podcasting business longer than I have. What are some things that I should learn early on about podcasting? <laughs> Or that you wish <laughs> you would have told yourself? <coughs> Nothing. <laughs> Why? <laughs> What is there to learn? I don't know because you are quite successful, like Dushan as well. They are well-known podcasts that Dushan people love. Dushan is a YouTuber. Dushan is a YouTuber and podcast is his fucking side thing because podcasts are uh, popular now. Mm-hmm. But uh, pot- Dushan is a proper YouTuber, like this ring light video making stuff. But in podcast, I, I don't know. Uh, we started Luživčak as the thing I really wanted to listen and see. And it was not existent. So we made it ourselves. But that's the, I don't know if, if it's a relevant... It is. It, it is. It's a relevant data today where everything exists, you know. 
But the, I don't think everybody, everything exists. If you are not finding the thing you want to watch, then fucking make it yourself. You will, yeah. you will not watch it, but you will live through it. So it's better, much better. Is there something that you missed that you, as a kid, that you have now? Not here, but <laughs> some content. Mm. Actually, don't. I, I I had really good childhood uh, with the uh, without with the PC games and without the internet. There was like the fucking. But how old? Are golden you? zone. How old are you? Uh, thirty-three. So, how is it that you had a childhood without internet? Oh, you grew up in Slovakia. I understand. Yes. And I grew up in uh, internet. Uh-huh. We didn't have even fucking TV. It was yeah, the imagine. the best. It was the best thing ever to happen to me, because we we were outside every night. We were in opera and stuff. And you are fourteen year old by yourself in Bratislava. Come on, it's it's like the fucking golden ticket. But you were not drinking. You were not. Mm-hmm. You were meeting girls, but yeah. And that's it. You are fourteen. I guess that's all you need, right? It's, uh, like till you get a wife, it's all you, all you are doing. It's trying to like impress the other sex and have a girl. You know what we didn't discuss is I I don't understand how you made the change from puppetry to stand up. When did that happen? Mm. You know, it's, it's not a normal jump. You know that that you go from this. It's. I was a moderator f- uh, for a few years and I did gigs and I was like a speaker. Mm-hmm. And suddenly like Jano Gordulic from Silna Reci mm-hmm. come came to me and uh, we went on a fucking uh, beer and uh, he he tells me like you are doing stand up and I said like I know and he was like can you do stand up for me and I was like oh we will see And but I was doing stand up like long before I was doing stand up. But strictly like uh being speaker on events and getting through the university. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh sometimes that could be a scary thing though, if somebody just comes and asks you to do something. Why? You didn't think about it twice, you just went for it. Yeah. Those uh, scary things uh the risk is scary. Yes, but scary is good. There is uh, uh, is there a better reward than beating the scary? I, I don't know. Oh, I have no idea. Uh, there's not. Like no idea. And mm. and if you if you acknowledge that like the things are not uh, life on or death situation, it's not scary it's it's okay well, what is the worst thing that will happen people will not laugh oh fucking mm. uh, get over it. I, i mean you're not losing something right we are getting to to the last part of the show yes of course i have to go home yeah like oh jesus i had to go home like hour so it doesn't matter now you know it, it, mm-hmm. it still could get yes, worse of course yes of course what yes of course you don't get no. the limit that this is as bad as you okay So, we need to finish with your final message to the crowd. Anything you want. And focus on your projects too so people can follow them in English because this is aimed at people that live in Slovakia but they might not know who you are. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Please, uh, do your best in life. Doesn't matter. Please, uh, there is no need to know who I am or who... Uh, who are, are are we if you are seeing this just like there is only one thing that's better like if you are a good person at the end of the day when you close your eyes and you have the fucking 10 minutes in the darkness only with yourself and if you know you're a good person there and then uh, it's okay if you have some fucking regards and remorse I can work on it and be the better person the next morning you wake up. 
Maybe yeah. some advice for me. So now you've been through my whole podcast and you know the studio. What can I do better? That would make you want to watch this. I do not watch fucking You don't watch You are podcast? not an octopus documentary. I will not, not yet. N- no, you you know. Uh, I may bring an octopus. I don't know. You you have kind of fucking perfect setup. Do you know? Can you name at least four of those? Yes. Let's start with the top. No. No, no, I lied. I lied. Yeah, I know. I know. I I don't Can you name one? Fu- No, <laughs> not even one. Not even one. I like. What is this? You, you come on. Even the last one. Yeah, Game Boy. I can uh, like kids. Did, did you play the Game Boy? No. So what did you play? Sticks. Yeah, that's you. Yeah, I was in Baskashanitz. I played outside, like sticks, and fucking rebuild fortresses in the trees. I fell from a tree house. Yeah. I broke I my arm. I broke time. my arm. It's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, but in the US, like I had no insurance with my parents, so oh. it's five thousand dollars to break That's your arm. That's how it's not supposed to be. You're supposed to have like a free fucking surgery. Uh-huh. Thank you, Slovakia. Good idea. I see. Somebody did that. Okay, we're at the two fifty five mark. I yeah. have to go home. Oh, we are at 255. We cover the message, guys. Thanks, you. <coughs> oh. Stop driving. Sorry that he missed the episode. Uh, uh, thank you once again for coming on. Thank you for inviting me. And you know, what's, hap- you know what's happening next time, Zelda? I will play. I, I will play. I will do the technology. You committed already. Yeah, yeah, I will play. I will play Zelda. But just as a player. Don't ask me to push fucking X or triangle. Or I will play. So you want to just watch? No, no, no. no. I will play, but I, you know. I will not boss you. You will do as you want. install this, please click. Just mm. fucking. Yeah, so I will do the technology. Once again, thank you for joining us. It's been a pleasure. We hope to see you again. Guys, thank, thank you, you again. Much, people. Take care. Here you go, chili. Oh, yeah, I'm going to...